Hello everybody, welcome to Backseat Painters. Hope everybody is having a wonderful day so far. I'm gonna grab everything to get us started. We have made it to Tuesday. It may not seem like a big deal, but honestly it kind of is. So congratulations to us. All right. So I'm gonna check my post-its. Hey there, Sandy Mermaid. I sent out a bunch of shipments today too, so you guys be on the lookout for those. Um, let me see. I had some notes written for us for this next time here. So I want to check it out and see what we got. Okay, so this is what we have on post-its. We're going to do black, gold, silver, and white metallic. And we are going to do two canvases with the same paints. And we're going to make them the exact same way so that we can compare the two. So that's what I have in my notes from uh, last night. So that's the plan. How's it going, Teresa? Teresa, you really started something with these mini canvases. Look how they're drying. These are Angela's. And she put the gold foil on them. Aren't those cool? Dang it, Teresa. <laughs> you got us hooked. <laughs> you got us all hooked on it. Hey, Elk. Um, I sprayed them with a clear coat today, so these are almost ready. And then these are Isabel's. I just think these are really cool examples of the little guys. And then you can see how they are accessorized. Yeah, I just love them too. They're so cute. So we're going to do some more minis tonight. I just wanted to, before we get started, I wanted to show you guys some of the minis because <laughs> they're drying and they look so cute. Look at these little guys. Aren't they cute? Like, I'm obsessed with these now. I don't know what I'm going to do with them all, but look at that. I know. Isn't the green one cool? Look at that. That one is, um, that was from the Envy painting that Taj got. Yes, exactly. This one is my copy of it. Let me show you what yours looks like. Did you decorate yours? This one is almost dry. I sprayed this one today. It's gorgeous. <laughs> and then there's like the bigger pieces of gold glass on it. Look how it turned out. Isn't it freaking cool? I just love it. And then there's your mini that you decorated. And you've got some little flakes and then some glitter. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I hope you love this one. This one has came out really, really good, really good. And then here are Wendy's unicorns. This is amazing. Here's the little guy. The big guy looks cool too, but I'm really about the minis right now. <laughs> Look at that. It's adorable. These unicorns are so cute. <laughs> There's so many fun ones. Like they're, they're looking really good. So those are fun. So we're going to be doing those again tonight just because. And then I think I have um, eight of them for the magnets too. 
but we're going to continue. I ordered some more, but this is what we have. And then my husband is stopping by Michael's on the way home because this is my last canvas this size. I have these two that I could recycle. Um, and then, yeah, he went to go pick up my order. I like to order online and then have him pick it up for me because he goes, it's like a 15, 20 minute drive for me to go. Yeah, we're totally going through the minis. And it's really cute because um, everyone's had like a little mini me of their painting. So we're going to do those again for sure tonight. And then hopefully um, I will get some more in later. Because I think we should just kind of continue this trend until we get tired of it. <laughs> All right. So let's get started. Let me move this guy out of the way. That's our drip, drip pan painting. And I do try to, you know, like make sure that I take really good notes. So if there's something you guys want to try and we didn't have time before, we can try it again. So this is what we've got here. Um, let's get our colors together. Black, gold. Oh, I need some more gold. Let's see. And then we have our silver. Let's put us up a little higher here. All right, there's our gold, silver, and then we need our white metallic. So here's our white and our pearl. All right. So basically the request that we had last night was for us to do um, two of the same paint colors. So we're gonna put them side by side and we're gonna mix them the exact same way and then we're gonna compare them because we're gonna have two different paintings but we're gonna be using the same colors. So, ooh, that's awesome, Elk. Yeah, those candy cane wreaths are so awesome. I know, I'm trying to get my house, like, more decorated for Christmas. Honestly, I'm still putting away my Halloween decorations. It's so bad. It's like, get it together, man. This is not good. So I'm putting these, we're going to try to do an exact carbon copy of our paints today. Um, they're going to be sold separately. We're going to pour one first and then we're going to pour the other one. We'll probably pour some minis because now we have to all the time. That's our new that's our new jam. We get tired of something and we move on. We try it out if we like it. It stays around forever. Just refilling my popsicle sticks here so that we have plenty of those. All right. Now let's get to mixing here. So this was the exact same amount of paint. It just may look kind of wonky because now I'm sloshing it around. But this is, um, we just added some iridescent medium to white. And this is going to be our white metallic color. Okay, because we're doing black, gold, silver, and white metallic. And these colors are really beautiful together. Really classy, really classy. <laughs> Mini minis. Oh my God, that's funny. Have to. <laughs> we do have to. Oh, good question, Teresa. Um, have you guys uh, done uh, bundling yet with your shows? Or have you bought anything in a uh, bundle for a show? I, I saw my email um, this morning. 
I missed it. I see what you guys were talking about, about the email. I got it, but I didn't see it till this morning. And so it's, uh, the bundling is supposed to roll out today. So I don't know if anybody's, uh, knows whether it has worked or not yet. Cause I know they were going to try to roll it out at the end of November and then it just never happened. And so I think everybody was really excited about it this time. All right. So do we want to do cells? And we'll just keep asking as people come in and out, because I'm really curious about how the bundling is working out for people, too. So we need the 411. We need to know. All right, so should we do cells on our other colors, or do you just want to do this as a natural pour? Because we're going to be using black, gold, silver, and white metallic. Okay, we definitely want cells. Okay, so I want to make sure that I'm doing this right. Do we want them in all four colors or in uh, like maybe two colors or three colors? And we're going to try to make the, uh, the the pores like using the exact same everything because this is, this is a controlled experiment here. Okay, all four. All right. So we're going to use our silicone drops on two, and we're going to use our cell medium on two. One, two. I'm going to put exactly three drops in each one. Three. One, two, three. All right, because these have to be exact replica cups. These have to be like perfect twins, all right, in order for this to work. Here's our old gold. All right, these are looking pretty even, looking pretty even. All right, um, so let's do silicone drops on those guys too. Yeah, this is going to be a fun experiment to see them side by side. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we're going to use cell medium on the other guys. So there's that. And I don't know. I may try to see if I can scoot these paints back and we can pour them at the same time or something. I don't know. I feel like we need to see them side by side. And then we can auction them off after that, maybe. I think it'd be kind of cool to see the comparison. All right. And then we need our silver. Okay, cool. That's exactly what we should do. Yes, very, very true. I definitely agree. Um, and then we're going to have to name them both, too, though. Just keep that in mind. All All right, so we're going to put our cell medium in that guy. So this one's different than the drops. The drops, I was kind of able to count those. This stuff is like more of a liquid, so I'm going to try to be one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. This is a very scientific experiment here. So there's our silver. 
and we're going to put them in order. I like to kind of like mix up my cells. So we're going to have silicone drops, cell medium, silicone drops, and cell medium. <laughs> Elk. <laughs> I hope that you're feeling better, though. Okay, there's your black. Gotta make sure those are exactly even. They gotta be perfect, because we're very scientific here. All right, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And yeah. I feel like we did pretty good on this part though. So we just have to make sure that we do exactly the same thing for both of these guys. All right. So let's start mixing it up here. I'm going to try to pour these right in the middle. I'm doing exactly to one side like I am the other. What is that? What is that in like cross multiplying or something? I don't know. There's some kind of math thing, right? I'm sure there's some math nerds in here. I don't know. It reminded me of some kind of math thing for some reason. Okay, these look pretty close. I think we're nailing this. Oh my gosh, Elk. I was really hoping you would start feeling better. You know what? The uh, flu this year lasts a really long time. There's always two versions of the flu each year. Or each year, it's either going to be a severe flu or a less severe flu. This year is one of the severe versions of the flu. Like my sister said she didn't feel better for like a month. And I'm usually not down long, and I was down for almost two weeks, so. There's a lot of stuff going around this uh, cold season. Funny, please. Oh my god, I did not stir the black two more times on one side. Give me a freaking break. Yeah. Yeah, no, it, yeah, you, I, the over-the-counter stuff didn't seem to work as well for me either. Like, I have a humidifier, and that seemed to help me a little bit, but, like, it's one of those things that, it just feels like you have to work it out of your system. And like I said, my sister was sick for like a month, dude. So it's different for everybody, you know? I just hope you don't have too much more left. And I'm hoping you got through the worst part of it, if that's what you have. But like, it's cold season. And some days I don't feel good just because of my sinuses. It's so dry here. I'm just not used to the dryness in Colorado. Still. And I've been here for seven years and I'm still not used to it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Elderberries. I take some kind of elderberry cough syrup or something. That does help. That's a really good recommendation. That's made me feel better than anything, really. Is that whatever it's called? What is it called? Is it elderberry syrup or it's something like that, right? It's some kind of, I think that's what I, yeah, that's what I took. And that honestly helped me feel better than anything. And that, it, that's like more natural, isn't it? I feel like. All right. So I don't know how we're going to do this. I'm going to figure this out. I think. I don't know if 
we can use my little baking rack. Actually, you know what? I have another one of these somewhere. Except I don't know if they'll fit on this guy. All right. We're going to do our best, all right? Actually, let's go. All right, let's see how this works out. I don't know. But I feel like we should look at them together. Um, and I think we're going to do two 11 by 14s, maybe. They might fit on there together better. Okay. I mean, that's pretty close. Cups do look a little different, though, I must say. So, I don't know. All right, sorry, this is taking me a moment here. I'm trying to get us organized. I'm thinking that's what we'll do and see what happens. Here's my marker. We gotta label this guy. Where's my markers? Sorry guys, I lost my dang markers. I don't know where they are. I can just get one from my craft room. Every time I try to reorganize, I can't find anything. Oh, there it is. Of course I can find it right after I go get the other marker. All right, so number one. Okay, number two. Numero dos, as they say. All right. Now we're ready to rock and roll here. Yeah, this is, I don't know. This is not really, this baking rack is not really helping. I think we'll just put them like this. Because I don't want them to go uneven. And they're starting to kind of go a little wonky here. All right. Finally, 80 years later. Sorry, guys. Now we're doing the exact same things here. So just keep that in mind. Grab my book here. All right, so which color was this? This was our gold and blue. Okay, this is one and two. Three and four. I have to stay organized because if we need to do a color repeat, because sometimes people do ask me because they like the certain color combination. So as long as we're keeping track of it, we're okay. All right. One, two, three. Oh, the minis. 
We'll do the minis on the next one. Because this, this may be a little too much right now for me. But remind me to do them on the next one if I forget for sure. They look a lot alike, but they look a lot different. You know, I cannot walk and chew gum at the same time. Some people can. <laughs> I cannot. All right. You know what's funny is this one looks like more gold and this one looks more silver. I'm going to finish covering the edges, but I want you guys to see it before we... Yeah, these are kind of like sibling paintings for sure. And they're definitely really different. I was trying to kind of sl uh, slush them around at the same time too, but at this point I'm going to have to do them one by one. And this is with all cells, so keep that in mind. And look at that really pretty gold. The gold and the black are really pretty. I like gold and black, though. It's like a really classy type look. And these almost look like birds in the painting. And we got a lot of cells in these guys. Yes, they do look like little whales. They also kind of look like little snakes to me. Oh my god, that's my uh, nickname for my sister. It's so funny. I call her Sister Snake. She kind of acts like a snake sometimes. <laughs> oh my god, I think that's like the funniest nickname ever. It's true, though. She is kind of a snake. All right. Let's see. Um, I'm selling them separately. We're going to sell them uh, one or two. Or if you guys want me to sell them together, I could always start this off at like 10 or something, and we could sell them as a set. It, it just really depends. But I was just going to do them as one and two, but whatever you guys want to do. I don't know. They may end up looking kind of different, too, so we want to see how they turn out. This looks really, really different, actually. Look at that. There's a lot of silver in that guy. But you can also see gold in this one, so... And then we'll look at them side by side, but... Definitely super different. And so this just gives you guys an idea, too, of what it's like when we use, of how you can never predict, you know, how it's going to come out, even when you do kind of the same method with it. So we'll do a close-up look on these guys. How do you know that Bex? Bex knows all kinds of uh, information. You put the darker one on the right. See, I wouldn't know how to do, I wouldn't know that. Look at that. I wouldn't know what to do with them. I'd sit there and stare at them. Just like I do when I'm trying to do jewelry and beading. 
I get out all my beads, I get out all my jewelry, and then I sit there and I stare at it. <laughs> like, that's probably what I do with these paintings. This is pretty cool, though. Look at that. And then you've kind of got these cell sections going on. Got her cell within a cell action. And then you've got this guy, which is mostly silver with black, gold, and white accents. Lots of cells in this guy, too. That almost looks like a little fireball or something. And that looks like some kind of weird, like, mask or fish. I don't know. Oh, that looks like a stork or a bird. I don't know. And then these look like birds to me. Or like flaming masks or something. I don't know. These are cool. So that's our science experiment, guys. What do you guys think about that? That was the same colors and the same... Um, using the same color scheme. And then we even like lined up the paints exactly. We did the same amount in the paints. And this is the end result. So. Check, check, we tried that. It's kind of cool. We have tried colors back to back before, but it's uh, kind of definitely cool to see it more like together like this. I feel like this is really a good representation here. Okay. So there's my clipboard. So do you guys want to do them separately or together? You can do it either way you guys want. Let me see. Write the date on my clipboard. Write our colors down. Well, 13, two. All right, now we are organized. I don't know. We can do them separately if you guys want. That's kind of what I was going to do, but like I said, if anybody wants to do them together, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to do them uh, separately. And then you can also see cells developing here as well. More cells. Okay, let's do them separately. And then this almost looks like gold foil. It's really cool. I definitely see faces in this one though. They're just very, very different, you know? Very, very different. So these aren't gonna have the minis, but we'll do it on the next one. And then let me see, we got our colors here. So we'll do painting number one first, which let me double check the canvases. Okay, yeah, this is number one. Just gonna double check. All right, so we'll do number one first. Number one is gonna be the one on the top. And then number two will be this one at the bottom. Okay. So there is number one, and these guys are 11 by 14. And this is our kind of a neutral color scheme. And I'm gonna write down our colors here so that, and these are just some nice basic colors that can kind of go with any decor. So I'm going to write these down. That way you guys kind of have a, an idea of what colors we used in case we want to try them again. Congratulations to Taj. 
you are the winner of number one. I don't know what we want to name these either. I guess I probably should have done names first. But honestly, these look so different. Looks so different. I don't know. What should we name the uh, top one? It almost looks like a shell to me. That one almost looks like a shell. I don't know if you guys see it, but like this part right here looks like kind of where the shell would close. So I don't know if anybody else sees that, but okay. No name for now. Okay. We can leave that guy blank. And then if you think of something, let me know or send me a message or whatever. The pearl. That's cute. Well, let's name the second one before we auction it off. This to me looks like space. I don't know. I would call it the birds just because that side looks like birds. But it also looks like fireballs. I'm gonna write down my suggestion as the birds. Meteors, that's a really good one. Something about the moon, I don't know. It looks really moon-like to me. Thing one and thing two, <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> I like that. I'm gonna call it Good Night Moon. So you have some good, decent name. I was gonna say good, but they're not great, but they're decent. There's some decent suggestions for names tonight. Okay, that's a good idea. Those are both excellent suggestions. Thank you very much for the suggestions. Dark Side of the Moon. That's really, really good. And so is light side of the moon. They're both really good. I can't decide out which one I like best, actually. Okay, so I think we have some suggestions. Enough to get somebody started. All right, so painting number two. So this is going to be the one at the bottom, which is going to be this guy. If I can even focus that in here. This paint situation is getting a little scary. I have to be honest. Got too many paints stacked up around here. But the more paint, the better, I feel like. Yay, Taj, you get a matching set. They're twins. Yay! Okay, do you want glass or anything on them? These might be fun ones, I don't know, to decorate, but they also look good how they are too. So, whatever you think would be best. It's crazy how different they are though, you know, because we did the exact same thing to both of them. Like, I even poured the cups at the same time. Okay, gold foil and gold glass on number two. Okay. I like where we're going with this. Gold foil and gold glass. Did you want the bigger glass we used last night or the smaller pieces of glass or maybe both? When in doubt, use all of them. <laughs> that's what I, that's my motto. All right, so where do we want the foil? Yep, that's definitely true. 
Yeah, I think both always works. I don't know, like kind of in the silver part, or there's like some white streaks here too. I'm trying to think where else we could put it. The upper is mad and the lower is calmer. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I definitely see that. This is a lot more chaotic and this is a lot calmer. That's definitely true. So I'm making sure I kind of shred this up really, really nicely. I love this foil. This foil just like melts into it. it looks so good. And you've got twin paintings. And Taj can tell us if the bundles are working. <laughs> I don't know. They said it was going to be done today. And the white in the upper region. You got it. Yeah, no problem. Whenever I'm just like, I just, they're like, oh yeah, we're going to have it done today. So I'm just really curious. Has anybody, um, is anybody, cause people come in and out of these all the time. Has anybody done any bundling today? Or no, like if there's any success with that, all very curious. Oh my gosh, calm down. I had a quick show to test and no. Oh, dang it, Lisa. See, this is what happened last time. So I'm just really finely shredding these guys up. Then we're going to see what Taj thinks about the foil. All right, so then also the right corner. So to the trunk with you. All right, so did you want the, so you the white corner, like kind of in this area? This gold foil looks really good though. Wait till we do a close up on this baby. Get a nice good look. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, I can see it comes in like these bigger pieces. So I like to make sure that we shred it up because I feel like it looks better in the painting. We got to do a close up on this guy though. Look at that. What a great touch. Look at that. Look at that. Those gold flakes are amazing touch here. And you can see like they're also a bunch of littler ones too. Where I shredded it. But I don't know if this is enough for you in this painting. So do we need more flakes? Let me think. Got to do a close-up. Got to make sure you can see the flakes. Then you can know if you need to add more. It's just really pretty. We love the flakes. Yeah, these are nice, at, uh, Elle, because I think it's because of this color scheme. It's just a really nice little neutral color scheme. Yeah, like marble. Exactly. Okay, now for the glass. All right, so we're going to do both glass, and I'm assuming you want it kind of in the same area, or 
I don't know. This one is chunkier. This gold glass is a little chunkier. I don't know how you want this glass. Like kind of in the silver or maybe in a corner. I don't know. I like this stuff though. But you can see it's just a little chunkier. But it looks pretty cool. You want the silver one? Okay. Let me put this lid on this guy. Here's our silver slash clear. I love this one. It looks like diamonds. Look how shiny and sparkly that is. Oh, ch sorry. <laughs> I'm just like, the chunky silver. Thank you for clarifying that, Taj. Sometimes I'm a little slow. Um, oh my god, that looks like a little um, Humpty Dumpty. Oh my gosh. Let me see if you guys see it. Like, it's his face and everything. Do you guys see that? He's got little shoes and eyes and a mouth. Look at him. Tell me somebody sees it. Yeah, Mr. Potato Head, it could be. But it looks like somebody painted that. Oh, that's cool. That is freaking cool. And it's that guy right there on the side. I just noticed that while I was putting glass on it. It's like, what? Man, that's cool. That's awesome. And I'm assuming that you want the um, smaller pieces in the same area as well. Yeah, these bigger pieces are cool. I'm trying to put them around the cells. Okay, awesome. Yeah, we want to make sure we get it perfect for you. I really love the way these came out. These are pretty cool. And here's our smaller pieces. And we're just kind of putting them just where we've got this gold. And I'm trying to get them around, especially like the bigger pieces. I think it's a really, really nice complement to the gold foil as well. I love the embellishment on this one. This was great. Wait till you guys get a load of this. All right, let's take a look and you tell me how we're doing here. So we've got the gold foil, we've got the bigger gold glass and the smaller gold glass. So let's take a little tour of the painting. And you can see the bigger gold pieces. You can see the smaller gold pieces. You can see the gold foil. There's our corner. I really, really love this, guys. Look at that. Man. I love uh, the embellishments on this guy. And then you've got this little corner. But you can definitely see, oh, there's some really shiny gold pieces. And then you can see the bigger pieces, too, and also the flakes. And we'll kind of zoom out a little bit.
That's pretty. I love it. A little glass in the black area on the first painting. You got it. What um what kind of glass do you want? We got our good choices for you. You could do the same. You could do the gold and the gold, like the bigger gold and the smaller gold. You could do the silver. Really any of it. Okay, both golds. Yep. That's kind of what I was thinking too. That looks so good. I just love this glass. Okay. Let's see how you feel about that one. And then we'll add the smaller pieces. We'll add the smaller pieces. Oh, that's a good one. Lunar Symmetry. See, I was getting moon vibes too. That is cool. Let me write it down. See that? And then we've got our bigger chunks there. Okay, so that looks good. So now we will add our smaller pieces. I like the combination of the two. I think it looks cool. Yeah, that's a great touch. These are real. This one, these have been really fun to decorate tonight. I don't know. These are really fun. Like, I've had a really good time decorating these. These are really pretty. That was a good idea to do two at the same time. All right. Let me write it down. Lunar Symmetry. Perfect. So we've got them named. Now let's do a close up and see how we did on the gold smaller glass. And I just wrote down your name. Look at that. That is so cool. You guys can see the bigger pieces of glass and the smaller pieces of glass. And then it kind of goes down a little bit into this area. Awesome. Thanks, Taj. This is super cool. I love these and I love the name. I think the name is perfect too. All right, let's get these guys drying over here. Painting number one. We're gonna number two. And then we'll figure out what colors we want to do next. I don't think I have anything written down. Oh wow, I just love the way this one was done too. Look at that. And then you can see like how it like shimmers and shines with the addition of the glass and the foil flakes. Beautiful, beautiful.
All right. Now, honestly, you can tell that those paintings are pretty much in the same color family. Um, and especially with the way that Taj decorated it, they really look like they go together a lot better now, I think, after what we added to it, I feel like. All right, so let's do, um, there was one we did last night, or I think, or maybe it was the time before that, that we said, oh man, we're going to do that one again. Let me look it up. Oh, that's the one that we used 80 billion colors, right? Let me see. Hey, Christy, how's it going? I hope you and your family are having a great night and enjoying your holiday season. Let me see which one was it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the number, it was number two. Painting number two that we did. I don't know. I also feel like it might have been. Okay, let's just try this one and see how it does. Because I'm pretty sure this is one that we were going to do again. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you for coming in and saying hi and taking a break with us. Okay, I have it written down. We're going to try and see how it ends up. This is one that everybody really liked. It's like, we need to do this one again. Okay. Chartreuse. This one was Joy from last night, if anybody remembers that one. Burgundy. Where are you? Neon purple. What? We don't have a neon purple. What did we use? Oh, man, I have no idea. I'm like, why do we have... Oh, we do have a neon purple. We do. Okay, sorry. Dingy moment there. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Mm. Copper, right? Actually, my husband's about to bring me some copper. He went to uh, Michael's for me today to pick up my online order because I'm almost out of copper. So luckily that problem is about to be solved. Um, cause we, that's the, that's the one we can't run out of. Okay. That is the one. Absolutely not. Turquoise, light pink, gold, rose gold, pearl white. So this is what we did for the one that we all really liked. So let me get these guys mixed up. We need a white cup. We're doing pearl. Our iridescent medium, because we're making our own pearl.
Okay. Yeah, this is the color combination we like. I just don't remember if we use cells or not. I want to say we used uh, cells. Oh my gosh, I made you some cinnamon rolls and stuff. We're having breakfast for dinner. Calm down. Exactly, Teresa. We need that copper. We will shank you for the copper. You don't give it to us. Just saying. And I want to say we did cells, but I don't remember if we did all cells or not. This was the joy painting that we did. Let me actually grab it so you guys can see it. I don't know. This is what this guy looks like. What do you guys think? This was the joy painting. Got your pretty stars on it. And then it's got that cool, you remember that cool like cell comet at the top? Pancakes. That's all anybody in this chat thinks about is pancakes. Every night somebody in here is doing pancakes. We're talking about pancakes. <laughs> it's so funny. It never fails. Or me both nights. <laughs> I don't know. Bex talks a lot pan about pancakes an awful lot, too. We had a pancake crisis last night. And then here's the mini for it. Look at those stars. And then I'll turn it this way. You can really see. Excuse my Shrek fingers. But yeah, th this is the color combination that for this. And everybody really liked it, so I wanted to try it again. Yay, my canvases are here. Now me. Dang, those are the wrong size. I wear really big canvases. These aren't really big. I'm, well, yeah, but those are bigger than the size I normally get for my drift tray. We need our copper. Where's my food? It's over there. Give me the copper right now. Give me the food. Where are my yes, pancakes? Yes, Taj. We don't have pancakes. We have what? cinnamon rolls. I was fooled. So we've got our burgundy, we've got our gold, we've got our deep yellow, we've got our purple neon, we've got our chartreuse, our light pink, our rose gold, and our turquoise. What do you think, Taj? I have a, that's what I have written down. Does anybody remember anything else? I, I think that's it, but I don't know. All right, guys, we got copper and silver now. Woohoo! You're welcome. Thank you. Now we're really rocking. Okay. Oh, and those are the four colors. Man, I wish I had Taj's brain. <laughs> How do you remember that? Man, you are you are smart. Okay. You've I like you know how some people can remember phone numbers and addresses and Yeah, most people can do that except for you. <laughs> like what colors they I just use. think that's awesome. <laughs> What a f thank you, Todd. What a great brain. Okay, let's see: pink, turquoise, burgundy, and rose gold. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. So let's start making cells. <laughs> yeah, numbers, not my thing. That's for sure. Oh, come on, accounting's boring. Way too creative for accounting. That's true. We are pretty creative in here. All right. Here's our burgundy. And so we're just doing our cells right now. We're going to mix our cells into these colors. Since Taj's great brain has saved us, we know which colors to do. And then after we mix in the cells, we're going to mix in all these guys together. So here's our turquoise. I just love this turquoise. Look at that color. 
What a great color of blue. So beautifuls. All right, put it back with my other blues because that's because I'm staying organized in here, which is amazing. I don't know. If I can just keep mostly the same light colors together, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. I can at least kind of find them. All right, so we got our four colors. Oh, dang it. Do you want to do yellow too? We can add yellow. We are kind of, or you know what? We can still do the, uh, we can still do it. We can, we can. Okay, these are the ones with, I hadn't put cells in yet. So those are the ones without cells. See, we're good. Okay, what do you, what do you want to do it in? We've got our chartreuse and we've got our deep yellow. So, I guess gold is kind of a yellow too, but, um, okay, the chartreuse, excellent, excellent. So we're going to mix it up, give it a little variety, if you will. Paint bottle. Paint bottle spooks. <sighs> All right, so there's our silicone drops. Now we're gonna do our cell medium. That's true. We are invoking joy. Joy, get over here now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Does anybody think his jokes are funny? Yes. I like cautious of more. <laughs> okay, well, there's there's one person. <laughs> Three selected. Okay, good. You're gonna regret. No wow, what that a, what polite, well mannered people they are. Marcia likes it. To lie like that for you. <laughs> that, that that is so polite of you guys. You don't have to lie for him. Trust me. Yes, Taj, I, I do tend to be on the corny side. You guys have great manners. I bring a little corniness to the show. <laughs> Wendy says I'm funny. Okay. Well, if Wendy said it, it must be true, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> then again, she picked the unicorn sparkles. So oh I don't know how much I can... <laughs> oh, please. That unicorn, you should see it now. It looks awesome. Oh my god, that's a great show. Practical Jokers. I tried to get my wife to watch it, she didn't get it. <laughs> oh, see, okay, sometimes they laugh at you. Sometimes. All right, all right, you feel better. I definitely laugh at you. Because I get to go in the trunk and I don't get fed. I made you cinnamon rolls. I don't see them in front of me. They're over there. You could just go get them. I hate this show. <laughs> <laughs> you used to serve me. Oh, please. Like a king. Oh, please. I've never served Your you. Your king. <laughs> You're going to make everyone leave. All right. I'm randomly mixing these colors together. Oh, yeah. Cheese is great. I'd like some cheese with that one. <laughs> <laughs> Ursi. See? Exactly. Is it feta or goat cheese? <laughs> I don't know. You probably wouldn't eat either one. We're American. <laughs> There's our neon purple. I'm excited for this one. This was a cool color combination. It was. I have to say. I like the joy painting. Me too. You? <laughs> I'm joyful. I'm joyful you're the right now. You're the, you're the Grinch of this show. The Grinch? <laughs> Look at your hands. <laughs> yeah, these are kind of <laughs> Grinchy. All right, I guess I'm the Grinch of the show. This is pretty bad. And I can scrub it off, but if I scrub too hard, like just in the winter, it makes my hands really 
dry yeah. because it's winter. So I just leave the paint on my hands, which is terrible. But really, the only people that have to look at them are you guys and the ladies at the post office and me. Yeah, but you don't count. Okay. This coming from the lady that says water demoisturizes you. Look at that. Look at those gorgeous colors there. This is our joy combination. Because it makes us feel <laughs> joyful. <laughs> Cup of joy. All right, so there is that situation. Wendy says use O'Keefe's. Working hands. It's amazing for chap super dry hands. Okay, let me write this down. Here come the post-its. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Wendy. Whatever suggestions you can give her. No, Let's... I write everything down. Anytime anybody tells me to look something up or gives Try me something. some information, yeah, I always write it down. Working hands. Thank you. I think I've heard a commercial for that. So. Yeah, I want to say I've heard of it before, too, so... I just need it to must make be sure. good stuff. I look it up. There's good stuff can't afford, or bad stuff can't afford to make commercials about. So. Okay, where's my paint thing? Here we go. Here's our painter's tray. Teresa says it is the best. Okay, see, everybody knows about it but me. I guess I know about it now, though. Welcome to Wellington. I'm a little behind on the. <laughs> A little behind on the game here. All right, let me write this down. Number three. I'm gonna have to try. I'm gonna have to try some. I'll look it up tonight. She will. She is always looking stuff up. Cause it looks like I never wash my hands. <laughs> That's not true. I wash them all day. <laughs> like. I promise, I wash my hands. What, with air? It's just like... That, I, that cup's not centered. <sighs> you are so helpful. It's going to be a lopsided painting. So helpful. All right. There we go. I got paint all over myself. All right. So let me write that down on our clipboard. This was our joy theme. Don't forget your minis. And that's what we use for... Oh, thank you. Bless you. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. It wasn't you. Somebody <laughs> else said it. Who said it? Thank you. I know when you. I try to take credit for Taj as much as I can. Well, yeah, Taj has some really good ideas. And she remembers <laughs> stuff, so I'm sure you do. All right, so we got our little mini guys right here. Thank goodness you remembered these, Taj. I know. Taj. <laughs> Is your name Taj? And call me whatever you want to call me. <laughs> Bet your mom wouldn't remember. <laughs> See, she just doesn't get it. That's exactly where we were reverting back to, is your mom. Your mama. Your mama jokes. That's all what it usually comes down to, honestly. Yeah, fast orange is awesome. We should get some more of that around the house. Orange base cleaner. Yeah. Don't we have some somewhere? We had some at the shop, but I didn't bring it. That's all right. We can always get some more. That stuff is pretty good. Yeah, yeah fast orange. I used to wrench for my wrists went out. Now I just supervise paintings. <laughs> Whatever. Ooh, look at all those cells bursting. I know. Look at the cup, too. Those cells are like, I want out. There we go. The wow cells. Give me that cup. That's just cool looking. <laughs> I wish you guys could really. I'm trying to. I don't want to drive you guys nuts. but that, that, that might be cool if there's some way you can seal the cup so you can drink out of it. But I guess that'd be a liability. It? No, you can't. Yeah. <laughs> Because they'd make it cool. But that looks so that. cool. <laughs> That's. Wow, cells. I want to give me that cup. Yeah, <laughs> that's how Tosh said it. Give me that cup. It's so cool. Give me the money. <laughs> I'm just doing these guys real quick. 
I'm glad I can add some emotion to the t to the chat. Yep. So great having you here. <laughs> hey, that might work. Sell the cups as candle holders. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to figure out. I'd have to figure out some kind of cup. To These be able are cups to use that hold things. <laughs> yeah, but like the kind of Did cups you forget that a piece of plastic on that? Yeah, seriously, but it's fine. You were just gonna try to pass that off. It's fine. This one is awesome. I can already tell. And then look at this little guy so far. Isn't it pretty? This is a cool color scheme, and we totally did that. That's one that we made up ourselves. Patent it. Everybody else does it, we'll sue them. <laughs> Just like Metallica. I know, and it is so cutie. <clears throat> little cutie. <laughs> Got some little cells in it. Look at that guy. I love that. All right. I said I'd like to buy that one for sure. <laughs> yeah, it's well. Face with the tongue sticking out. You got to see what they look like, too, what they turn out like. And there's this guy. If Posh wasn't, like, so strict on the flat, flat shipping, it would be easier, too. You guys should put that in your letter. Dear Ms. <laughs> Posh. Why don't we have the option for ground like little items for ground shipping? Yeah. Nobody wants to pay seven bucks for a two gram two by two painting. <laughs> right. You can miss out on that market. They put that in the handmade goods section. Yep. Never mind, Marcia said she would. <laughs> They are cute, but you know, you could get like one or two of them and that would help too. Forget everything I said. If you get like one or two of these little guys. <coughs> I really like that other little guy. Yeah, they're so cute. Look at this little guy. I think I'll keep that other little guy that everybody wants. No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do with it? I don't know. Exactly. But everybody wants it, so I must want it. That's funny. It's true. Sometimes. Aw. That's cool, Marcia. You great for their grandchildren. Aw, that's sweet. Yep, they're like little mini sizes, so. Oh, well, maybe you should put some on your store and people can buy, yeah, I wanna they buy something. Yeah, I'm going to start uh, doing these minis and then selling them in little sets on my store after the fact. Add a mini to your bundle, and then you don't have to pay the seven dollars shipping or whatever. Yeah, that will be one million dollars. <laughs> this one of a kind two by two. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So right now, I'm just kind of helping the paint along with my fingers, because if you just kind of touch your fingers on it. And then it'll slide across and cover that area quicker. Just a little hack there. So like some people coat them, right? So it flows. Mm -hmm. And then it also, when you set it down, it'll also flow over it too. And then here is. So that's a solution if you ever have flow problems, huh? Problems with your flow. Oh my God. Go away. Irregular flow rates. <laughs> I'm talking like eating, not, geez, get your mind out of the gutter. It's not that gross. Mm, you're pretty gross. Marsha wants that one too. They're little cuties. But we've got to see what they look like compared to the big painting. So that way we know which um, whoever wins the painting, which mini they get. Because we always try to give uh, whoever wins the little mini me of the painting. The one that closest resembles it.
Marcia said the, the last one looked like a lady in the corner, her face. I can kind of see that. Or maybe it was this one. No, we're we're going to have to take a close-up look at these guys, too, yeah. for sure. Because really, you need to see the close-up to get an idea of... Especially with the little guys. Yeah. We love these little guys. All right, so, well, those are kind of finishing up. Look what happened to the other one. Maybe. Yeah. Love this. Got so many cell marks. And then you've got white right here. And you've kind of got some rainbow action going on in there. So let's see what happens. Yeah, I was going to say, don't tilt it so the white takes over, please. <laughs> I know you don't control the colors. But you kind of have to like make sure the painting gets covered. I mean, there's, yeah. I do try to kind of influence it a little bit when I, there's a section of it that I like. But um, it. you got to make sure to cover it too. So, wow, amazing. That's it awesome. is really, really gorgeous. I have to give each one of you voices since I can't hear you. <laughs> wow. Cartoon. Do Sorry. not, do not give them cartoon voices. Yeah, that one's Probably not a good voice. Yeah, that pink's awesome. I love this. This is awesome. Sandy Merman loves it. Wait till we do the close-up on this guy. This is a great color combination. It came out great the other time. Looks nothing like the other one. Yeah. The pea soup. through here too there's also cells yeah, coming through that's, here that's the one i remember there was like one little cell it's like hey i'm here my pea soup i'm right here <laughs> yeah no this one is awesome this is, cosmic beach yeah this is beautiful will you write that down for me uh, since you're here you may as well make yourself I useful know, i haven't eaten anything yet it's right over there I you can literally just grab it yet. take a break for your show and serve me ridiculous Oh my God, this is beautiful, guys. OMG. All right, this one gets a double star. So this is definitely going in our greatest hits album. Does it? Will you put a star on it? There's one star. Aurora Borealis, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Nobody else say anything. I got to read that so I can spell it. And you know what? This is probably the most, uh, the one that looks the most like that that I've ever done. Okay, you guys are good now. Yeah, great day. Don't stifle their creative <laughs> flow. Can't yeah, have the chat moving all over the place while I'm trying to spell things. Yeah, well, don't interrupt <laughs> their thoughts. Sorry. You guys are good. I bet somebody just had a really good idea for a name, and because of you, they forgot it. <laughs> I bet not. No, I'm almost positive that's what happened. There's paint all over the pen. Yep, that's because I have paint all over my hand. Ugh. The Cosmos, I like that one too. Sorry, I almost spelled the T E H. Teh. 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 The Cosmos. Just like Dumb and Dumber. I love that movie. Yeah. Where he's reading. <laughs> he's like, Teh. Teh. And he's like, D. That's duh. A hard, that's a hard one. The. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's where I get most of my humor. Ooh, crocheted Rihanna. Rainbow explosion. Explosion. Rainbow. Space paint. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, look at the rose gold in the corner. I think space paint's a great one. That's because it's close to Space Jam. <laughs> yep. Space Jam Park 895. Well, let's take a look at these. I like space paint as well. 
I think definitely the one in the middle. Those minis are just crazy. How do you? How does it know what size the canvas is in order to scale down that well? <laughs> That's what I think too. I think the middle one. I think that one. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you don't get to vote in here. Mars is for the far right one. <laughs> You're the artist. <laughs> oh, Bossy said far right too. I don't remember which one that was. Uh, I, think, I don't remember either. I think it's one of the right hand. But... Sandy Mermaid said far right too. Okay. Bossy said first one. <laughs> Hold on. All right. Oh, now the really pink one. Oh my God. Stop messing <laughs> with me. That's, it's not me, it's the chat. Yes, it's you. <laughs> no, it's the chat. No, you're the problem. The chat is not the problem. They're trying to blame them for everything. I'm not blaming anybody. Like I said, the minis will be on the store for one million dollars. <laughs> Eventually, we've got to get enough of them so that people can buy a couple of them at a time. Look how pretty it is. That box of twenty-four was twenty-four million dollars. So. <laughs> God. Yeah, the minis are pretty awesome. I agree a thousand percent. Okay, so there's the mini, and then here is the painting. Yeah, that's a pretty good match. Actually. I love this painting, guys. This is beautiful. This oh is really, really great. Look at that. This has got to be one of the prettiest ones we've ever done. It's pretty cosmic. I love it. It looks like a nebula, literally. The colors on this are great. They're like kind of like a tie. They're kind of like tie dye, but not. It's that. Oh, I don't even know how to say that word. Where is it? Aurora borealis. That's exactly. <laughs> that's exactly it's the vibes. Aurora borealis. -y. <laughs> that's exactly the vibes that I get from this guy. Yep. Everybody's saying, "Yeah, gorgeous." Thank this you, is Jersey. amazing. Space Jam. There we go. All right. Yep, everybody's loving it. Love yeah, it. this Gorgeous. one's beautiful. Beautiful. I'm loving this one too. This is a great color combo. Okay, good. You put the double stars. That means we've done it twice and it's been approved. So this is painting number three. We're going to start this guy off. This is a 12 by 12. And it also comes with the little baby mini. So it's a square. Yeah. They're both squares. Yep. Yeah. So They're you've got squares. your little mini guy and you've got this guy. But Oh, geez. People are serious on this one. Well, this one's gorgeous. It is pretty awesome. <laughs> this has got to be, like I said, this is one of my favorite ones we've ever done. I think it's because of the blue. Like, just the color combination is gorgeous in this one. You can see all the colors in it, which doesn't always happen, of course. But it's just this blue and this pink in here that are so pretty. So I'm a big fan of that. Make sure you seal it good and it'll last yeah, for, for sure. a while. Yeah, keep it nice and protected for you guys. Yep. But yeah, this has got to be one of our best color combos, guys. Congratulations, Paisley. Congratulations, Paisley. I really hope that you love this. This is a really pretty one. It's your first painting? Wow. Awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Paisley. Well, good. I need to make sure. Write it's down, a good choice. Write down Paisley and then put a button. Needs button. Because you got to get, you've got to have a backseat painter's official badge now. That's awesome. So now you get to name the painting and decide if you want to accessorize it. But I really hope that you love it. This one's really cheerful. And it Aurora should be because this is Gorealis. our this is our joy theme. Hopefully you can read how I spelled it or you can Google it. I'm right gonna now. look it up because I don't trust your spelling. I spelled it the same way Wendy did. Okay, well then if Wendy spelled it, then Wendy's right. Did did Marcia get a button? Yes. She says yes. If you didn't get one, let me know and I will send you one. <laughs> God, I send everybody <laughs> buttons. Give me a break. But if for some reason, like, I had, like, a brain moment, just let me know and I'll send you one for free. 
And if, if I, you, but I'm pretty sure I sent you one. And if I, when you get one and you're the first one, uh, if you want a button, it can be a button, a mirror. No. Okay. It's going to be a, a button. Well, they're they're all buttons, but it's just kind of usually random unless somebody wants something specific. Okay. Unless you request something. Yeah. Where should we put the glitter? I would like accessories, please. Okay, well, we got to do the accessories. Is very polite. You already know the accessories are coming. All right, so um, I'll show you some accessories, and you tell me what you think. Nice, CD. We've got our foil. I'm glad she got it in the mail. If she didn't talk to me, I'll make sure she puts it in the mail. Oh, my gosh, please. I'm the enforcer slash assistant. And then there's our gold and copper flakes. Really, really cute. And then we have our silver slash clear glass. So oh, like, yeah. I got to show her the glitter for sure, Taj. Yeah, cosmic glitter. We've got the bigger pieces of gold glass. We have the smaller pieces of gold glass. She likes going through her whole spiel. Well, just because if this is your first time getting a painting, she needs to be familiar with the accessories so that she can make an educated decision on the best one for her. True. Okay, so here is my powdered glitter. I pretty much have powdered glitter in every single color. So if there's any powdered glitter you want, just tell me the color. And you can also do a combination of the accessories. You can, or you could put one over here, one over here, or you can mix them up together and put them over there. Okay, and then for my glitter, you know we got to show the cosmic glitter. Where is it? This glitter, this is our cosmic glitter. Flash it on the screen for like three seconds. Well, because I was going to pour it out. You can't see it in the <laughs> bottle. And that's like kind of like blue and lavender and black and silver. And then I've also got lightning bolts. Everybody's favorite. <laughs> so we've got our lightning bolt, our she, Harry Potter. She Potters. definitely wants the cosmic glitter. And then I've also got gold stars and silver moons okay so she's thinking she wants the cosmic yeah okay i'm gonna show you anyway otherwise you got about half an hour more of showing glitter no i just want to make sure she, she gets the one that she wants <laughs> so those are that's that one yeah the cosmic glitter is my favorite glitter everyone likes that one because it's really pretty it is and plus the painting is pretty and then i also have silver stars this may look nice too She's like, yeah, let's let's do the cosmic. Oh, those are kind of cool. Yeah. Okay, she wants cosmic and those stars. So the cosmic those, and the stars. Those aside for sure. Perfect. Okay, and where do you want them? We could put them. I don't know in a certain color. You could put it in two certain colors. We could do it randomly. Um, Let it rain. Make it rain all over the painting. <laughs> um. Oh boy, nah, I don't think that's a good idea, Paisley. Okay, what do you guys think, chat? What would you suggest for Paisley? This really is helpful because everybody has a lot of different ideas and you can pick the best one. <laughs> Let it rain, Jersey says. <laughs> Upper right corner says Marsha. Tosh says all over. Like Wendy we will, says upper right and lower left. Yeah, we can definitely help you out with the Alex good suggestions. This is all about let it rain. Okay, Paisley was leaning towards let it rain too. Okay, and then do you want to do the same uh, thing on your mini painting that you do on your larger painting? Sure. Mm. Okay, perfect. All right, well, let's do one glitter and then another. Or we can let it rain on the cosmic and do the stars in the corners, whatever. But yeah, she said, yeah, sure. Okay, we're going to make it rain yeah, then. Same. Make it rain. Make it rain, little guy. Make it rain. It's raining in mini. Cosmics. It's a cosmic. It's raining cosmics in mini land right now. And I'm just kind of holding it up. I like to hold it up like pretty high above it so it doesn't like clump up anywhere. We want it to be as evenly distributed as possible for the maximum glitter shininess effect. This was an excellent choice for this one, I must say. I agree. Must say. And yeah, CD's ahead of you. You can always add more. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. We make a pass through it. 
and I try to be as conservative as possible with it. And then that way, because uh, some people are less is more, some people are more is more. Some people are middle is more. Right. So we always make sure that we try to take everyone's individual tastes into account. So we start with less and we add more. Oh, so I, I do a close up here just so you, that you can really see how much is on there. And you could tell me if you want more. Now, I have not added the silver stars yet. This is just with the cosmic glitter. But this will give you an idea when you look up close. This is gorgeous. This painting is absolutely beautiful. These colors are gorgeous. That joy combo is a winner, that's for sure. But you can definitely see the glitter on this guy. Taj saw it E.T. E.T. phone home. That was the worst E.T. Whatever. person I've ever heard. I feel like I see an E.T. Like right there. We'll have to look back. Let's see. I always feel like, oh, I always feel left out when I have FOMO when I, like, yeah. I don't see it and everyone else does. It feels like it's good for the cosmic. Okay. Right, we'll, we'll see how the stars go and if you want to add more after that. Yeah. yeah exactly. Of either or both. Or exactly. Because that's how we roll. We work our way there. So here's our stars on the little guy. Now it's random stars in Miniville. It's so pretty. These stars, oh my gosh, really give it a nice space vibe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that's this, a great choice on this one. The sparkleness of the stars is pretty awesome. Yeah, this is fun. The four point oh my gosh, painting, decorating the paintings has been more fun for me tonight than normal. I don't know why, but it's like I'm having so much fun decorating these. Good. It's like. I don't know. Maybe it's because it's like all the best choices. She's nicer when they have when she has fun. <laughs> no, like I think it's because these are all the great choices for the decorations, and they've all looked really good. Oh yeah, you can already see the bling from those four points. Yeah, the stars are really <laughs> shiny. They they really give it a nice touch. They're almost more like a, what do you call that sparkle? Holographic? No, like. You know, when you see it, when our light makes it go bling. <laughs> the starburst. Oh, thanks. It is a really pretty color combo. Uh, the thing that I love the yeah. most about it is the center of it. I like the combo with the black and the pink together. I really, really love how those colors came together. Yeah. No, I think what do you guys think? That might be too much glitter if you wanted to get out the tweezers. I think it's the perfect amount of glitter. I think it looks great, actually, Paisley. Yeah, this is so pretty. This is a real, real pretty color combo. The, the close-up make the stars seem big, but yeah, you can see from afar away, it looks just great. And they're kind of melting as it, it dries, too, and it all becomes one surface. And there's your little guy. He's a little cutie, and he uh, matches the other one. Those two stars that are overlapping, you gotta fix that. <sighs> Basically, make her fix it. <laughs> there were two stars that were obviously overlapping. <laughs> Back to the trunk. <laughs> yeah. Back to the trunk with you. <clears throat> she gave me the stabby eyes. I guess that means I need to go outside. Yeah, and I like the name for this, too. Aurora yeah. Borealis. It's perfect. Like, perfect. Yeah, because now you have the stars. This the is gorgeous. So. This is just gorgeous. I hope that you love it. This one was real pretty color combo. Wow. Yeah. Wendy's jelly. Yeah, this one is really pretty. I'm, I'm kind of jelly, actually. <laughs> yeah, they, they all come out different. But... I wish you could make another one. <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty good bidding war. We can do whatever we want, you know? Yep. I know, but it'll never, there'll be another, never another one exactly like that. So. Yeah, that's why it's always pretty cool. There might be one that's cooler to somebody. There might be one that's not cooler to somebody. I like that one. I don't know. We, I might have to swap, switch that one out before she nails it. Like no. ninja style. We do not need any more paintings <laughs> around this house. I tell you what. Yeah, we could definitely come close. 
I like I said, it's in the eye of the beholder, and that one was definitely pretty in many eyes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It was. It's just honestly, it was a great color combo. The other time we did that combination, it turned out nice. You know. And I like that you use can't the, beat the colors. The colon P face, like that's old school. That's my style. I use colon P, X D. I use the old school E. Probably because you're on your keyboard. Exactly. I don't have any emoticons. Because that's why I always type to people when I type a heart. I type the, you know, like the little, what yeah, is it called? Greater than. Yeah, greater than. Or less than three. And the three. Less than three. I always yeah, type that to three. people. No, nope, that color combo is awesome. That's why I, I got have, two stars. That's because I'm on my computer, so I have to type it that way. Otherwise, I will send people a heart emoji. I'd probably give it five stars. Gosh, buddy, take a rest. Take a nap, buddy. Hey, buddy, you got a tumbleweed attached to you. It okay, so windy. let's see what we're doing next. I don't think we have anything set. So, yes, exactly. The less than and the three. Yep. Same one I do. I'm always on um, I mean, we could try it again if you guys want to do that color combination again. We can do whatever we want, really. We have three more paintings, so if anybody wants to see that, let me know. We could also do another one of our greatest hits, or we could just make something up. <laughs> yep, everybody's doing the less than three. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the old school hearts. Yeah. Back in IRC days. Aim, Yahoo Messenger. Oh and... Lord, that's a blast from the past. <laughs> All right, let me see. Let me get out my trust handy dandy notebook. My my magic playbook here. Otherwise, she's just gonna go with blue and copper. I don't know. We should just do that. <laughs> if it were up to me, I'd just do that color scheme again. <laughs> I don't know if you guys want to do that, but... You already did one repeat. What? You did the two of the same paintings. I need a repeat. Are you running out of ideas, sweetie? No. I just like... Everyone likes that one. <laughs> um, we can do our Nightmare Before Christmas theme. That's my other favorite one. What was that one? What one? Neons? No. Neons with pea soup. I don't know. We could do a nice copper. Looks like the Chad just wants to leave it up to you. Well, we could do a father of Which pearl. Which I think is a bad idea. Chad, better, better pipe up. <laughs> oh, please. Do you want to do a father of pearl painting? Let's do father of pearl. This is for it's you. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Maybe I'll eat a cinnamon roll so I won't be able to talk. During my father of pearl painting, so I won't be able to critique you. Nightmare before Christmas. Okay. Let's do that. And then um Yin and Yang. We can always do a yin and yang Two. painting for five and six. I don't know exactly. Maybe spit in the cup as you pick it up. I don't know exactly. Oh yeah, put it in the middle. We could try to. I don't know how that would work out. And then dot the I don't know. No, that's not what. Let if you could kind of explain what you mean a little bit, we might be able to do it because we have five and six left. You know, we're willing to pretty much try anything on here, within reason, of course. That's what your mom said. That's what your mom said. All right, so let's look up our good uh, Nightmare Before Christmas theme. The only thing is, I don't know if I have those colors. Yeah, you could do two cups. That'd be cool. One light on top, light. Oh, like do them like, uh, yeah, good idea. That's a good idea. I see what you mean. Okay, so let's get our uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. I see what you mean now. We'll do that one next time, and we'll do our Father of Pearl colors. So... We need our metallic purple for our Nightmare Before Christmas. 
I see what you mean now. Um, let's see, black, white. Thank you for the cinnamon rolls. No problem. Lake blue. Cinnamon spice. Metallic green, which we're actually almost out of. Let me see. Yeah, we're almost out of this color. We're going to have to make our own metallic green, which we can do that. We can do that. We can do that. We can do anything. So, um, there's our pearl metallic for that guy. And then, let's see. Sorry, got to get some ice. Oh, you're annoying. Ugh. What does that say? I can't even read my own writing. Is that... Oh, Nightmare Before. Okay, I was like, is that another <laughs> color? Okay. All right. And then, the, and then the black and the white are metallic, too. All right. So now we know what we're doing. And then we'll do Father of Pearl, Yin and Yang for the next one. I think that would be really fun to see. I agree. All right. So let's mix these guys up. This is our lake blue color. And that one we do have to water down with Floetrol because that is a liquid acrylic. It is not a ready pour paint. So we're just going to add a little bit of this to give it some nice uh, fluidity, Ooh, nice if you will. Out. Do half cups per canvas. Let me see. A dark cup and a light cup. And then do the opposite on the other canvas. I think I know what you're talking about, but we'll have to work, probably have to work through that with me. There's our green. And I'm just going to actually put just a touch of white in it to make it look more like the other one that we had. And then we're going to add our iridescent pearl medium so that we can make this like a metallic -y green. Anybody that's never done breakfast for dinner, I highly recommend. Yeah, breakfast for dinner is pretty nice. I mean, I know Beth had that, that time. I don't know. Everybody here eats pancakes. <laughs> yeah, the bean sausage patties. <laughs> All right, so there's that guy. It doesn't exactly look like the color that we used last time, so... I'm going to use what's left in this bottle and mix it together with this green color I just did. Good idea. Yeah, we're kind of getting real creative with this one. I really need to go Ooh, to that's a debate, Marcia. Hobby Lobby. What do you think, sweetie? Waffles or pancakes? I don't know. Marcia makes a pretty good point there. Waffles, like, I don't know. Waffles seem like the fancy version of pancakes, you know? They hold the syrup better, for sure. Like, I don't know. Like, they seem like the more sophisticated version. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. I was going to say classy, but that wasn't the right. No. Sophisticated sort. Classy with a K. Classy. Right. Classy. All right, we kind of made our own pearl green color. Not bad, not bad. Okay. There's our blue. And we're going to do cells in this guy. We're going to do mega cells. Mega cells. Is that bigger than the mega cells bigger than the celebration? Yep. Ooh. They sure are. 
people have been being a fan of themselves. So we're going to do all of cells and all these guys. So this is going to be our cinnamon spice color that we're going to use. This color is really pretty. This is a favorite of everybody. Um, just because it's such a cool color. Ooh, cinnamon spice pancakes or waffles. You, yeah, you can definitely do that. I do too, Taj. That's a real pretty color. And I'm going to add our pearl medium to the black and the white because that's what we had on, that's what we did last time. So there's our black and we added some pearl medium. There's our white. We're adding our pearl iridescent medium. And just in case for anybody that hasn't seen it yet. Basically, you can add it to any paint and make it um, iridescent, kind of metallic -y. All right, and then we got our green, and we're just going to do some major cell action on this. Basically, everybody gets a cell. Everybody right? gets a cell. This is Oprah. You get a cell. You get a, you cell. Get a cell. You get a cell. You get a cell. Does the assistant get a cell? I mean, do you want one? No. Your cell is called the trunk. <laughs> no cells in the trunk. That'd be gross. I feel like that needs more green. It looks like weird, like a mint yeah. green. Mint. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. And then here's our beloved metallic purple. Run low on the metallics. No, I have a whole noise. bottle of it. I'm oh. just trying to use the... <laughs> Sometimes I'll if uh, so I'll like keep the bottle. Do your bottle bottle on bottle transfer. Yep. Nice. Everybody gets a cell. <laughs> exactly. That's cells funny. are cells are for everyone. No cells for body. No. One two three. One two three. One two three. All right, and then we're going to do cell mediums for the other three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Is that right. your exact measuring again? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I got it. It's it's as, it's, as, ugh, it's as exact as it can be. All right, that green looks better. But still kind of funky. I think funky kid, especially the nightmare of the Yeah, that's true. Nothing wrong with being funky. Oh no, you don't want to be too funky. Well, not funky that way. It's fucking funky town, funky. Funky. It's funky. Alright. Honestly, this green still sucks. To it. No, it just needs to be darker. Oh, that works too. There we go. Alright, that's much better. Alright. There's our cinnamon spice. Our metallic black. And our, well I guess I should say pearl black. And then there's our, our pearl white. And we're going to combine them all together. This should be really, really interesting. Jingle cells, jingle cells. See, I almost forgot about our jingle cells. All right, let's do... I'm trying to make this as random as possible. Jingle cells, jingle cells, all in our paintings. Oh, and there's that metallic purple, just gorgeous. Can't beat that metallic purple. It's beautiful. All right, this looks cool. This has got to be one of my favorite color combinations that we've done. This is the one where I kept the painting. And Taj also has a twin of this. 
We have twin paintings. So there's that guy. Okay. Got our drip tray action. Oh, we need our minis. See, I actually remembered this time because I love the minis. And this would be a cool one to have some minis of, that's for sure. So we gotta add this guy. We got mini number two. And then of course, after they're done, we can decide which one looks more like the painting. Okay, I guess we'll put this guy right here. And then let me grab a canvas. We will see what we end up with on that one. I think this is going to be cool. That cup looks awesome. Never disappointed with this color scheme. All right, number four. Okay, let's take a look at that cup again. Hey, Isabel, how's it going? We're just doing our Nightmare Before Christmas theme here. We've got Sally Blue. We've got Black and White for Jack. We've got all the colors. This is one of our most favoritest is color themes. And we're also doing the minis. So, let's see what we end up with here. I'm basically just doing the minis real quick. And you can see how these guys are turning out. There are lots of really pretty cells forming on these guys. Oh, let me check it out. Let me see. It may take me a while to get the other eight. I already have eight so far. But let me see about the other eight. I will send you a message. And we can definitely figure that out. But look at that. Look at the cool little cells in this guy. Yeah, the magnets are fun. These little guys are a lot of fun. I can't tell you how much I have enjoyed these. We blame Teresa for getting us obsessed. Yeah, they really are. They're really, really cute, honestly. Look at that little cutie. And then here's our, our last one, this little guy. They're so cute. Yeah, that no, they really are great little little gifts. They're just cute. Anything miniature is, come on. It's just cute. Let's do a close up on this guy. This is massive cells, guys. I 
Me too, Isabel. Me too. All right, now let's take a look at our bigger painting. Look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is going to fan out really, really pretty. Look at these colors. OMG. We're having a celebration, guys. That's for sure. We love a good celebration. You got all these great purples and blues. You've got that cinnamon brown. Oh, that's a good idea, Ursi. I'll do a mini show. I think that'd be really fun. I don't know. I need to find some little tiny cups to mix the colors in. That would be a good idea, though. It'd probably be really fun because the minis are popular. They're just so cute. Okay, this is awesome looking. This is amazing, guys. This is almost like born to be wild type uh, tie-dye or like a butterfly wing or something. Jello shot cups, yes. A wall of minis, that would be really cute. The colors on this guy are pretty amazing. I really like the green, the metallic green, um, and the metallic purple in this one are just amazing. Mini solo cups, that's a great idea. Yeah, the blue is really coming out in this one. This is beautiful. I, this color combination just wins every single time. It's beautiful. And we got to figure out which one matches it the most. Stay on there. Dang it. There we go. I'm going to make sure it's perfect so it doesn't tilt to one side or the other. All right, now we got to take a look at the minis and decide which one looks the most like it. I love this. This is beautiful. So let's take a closer look at it. It's got some amazing cells, some really beautiful colors in there. You've got that gorgeous metallic purple coming through. You've got celebration. Oh, that's awesome, Isabel. Yeah, they're so pretty. Bunch of little cool minis. Ooh, look at that patch of blue. That lake blue is really, really pretty. I like this part right here with like the blue and the black and the green cells. It's too cool. That's a really neat part. Okay, so let's take a look at it and you guys tell me what you think the matching mini should be. So that's what the painting looks like. And then let's take a look at our minis and you guys tell me. So let's see, this is number one. This is number two. And this is number three. Thanks, Sharon. Thanks for joining us. We are happy to have you here. Um, definitely, Isabel. Just remind me in case I forget. We've got two more paintings, and then I'll show you your little minis. They're adorable. Okay, so I see ones and twos. So let's look at it again. 
And then there's one and two. Oh, dang. I see a lot of ones and twos. All right, let's do uh, one. I think that one's the closest. So let me put these two little guys to dry. And then we'll do another close-up and we'll auction these little twins off. And we got little twin paintings. Well, I guess they're not twins. They're a little sister, maybe. So there's this guy. The minis are awesome, I have to say. There's a lot of detail in that guy. There's a lot of cells. And then we'll take a look at this guy again, and we'll auction it off. I really love the green uh, and the blue, especially right here. It almost looks like a peacock tail. Actually, I don't know. This one kind of looks like peacock theme. Oh, Ursi, me too. I've already dropped my phone in it. I, I told everybody, I said, you know that I'm going to drop my phone. It's going to happen, right? And I did. Luckily, it fell in the paint pan and it didn't really fall on the painting. But I have dropped like stuff on top of the paintings before. So it's definitely happened. Okay, peacock vibes. Exactly. Let me write this. Let me write these guys down. So let's see. I'm just gonna say peacock. Yeah, that was pretty bad, Ursi. <laughs> Luckily the paint hadn't settled yet, so it kind of like rolled over it. And it ended up looking cool, but that was that could have been a disaster area. 100%. 100% disaster area. Um, I, I don't know. Like, I see, like, a peacock in this. So I would say peacock. I'm trying to think what else I'm getting from this. I don't know. Does anybody have any name suggestions on this guy? This is a really unique piece. I love the colors in it. The Nightmare Before Christmas comes out great. There's a ton of cells in it. Like, this is the... It definitely is screaming peacock action to me. I just don't know what else. To me, that's what I'm getting from it. Yeah, butterfly wing. I definitely see the butterfly wing. That's what I saw at first, actually. Crashing waves. Ocean vibes. I think that works. That's pretty. Celebration. Okay, we'll call it. I like that name too. Celebration. Because that's pretty much what this is. Honestly. There's a lot, a lot of cell action in it. Looking at it quarter turned. The blues look wavy. Yeah. We're lying about the massive cells. So that way. There's a lot of cells. Yeah. It's a celebration. It's a celebration. Celebrate. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So see, looking at it that way, it definitely could be an ocean vibe. I'm still feeling a peacock vibe, but. Okay. So let's do this guy. Peacock celebration. Yes. Perfect. We're going to take two of our favorite names. When our favorite names combine, they form peacock celebration. Because it does look like a party of sorts. Let's see. Number five. Or wait, no. Oops. No, that's not what I was doing. All right, so there's that guy. So we'll auction that guy off. This is going to be number four. This is a 12 by 12 piece. And then it also comes with the little mini. And that's what the mini looks like. 
lots of cells in this guy. Really, really pretty. Very unique colors, but I like the green that we mix together. It looks really good with the lake blue. The lake blue, this is definitely a really pretty blue color, which is why I got it, even though it wasn't a pour paint. Um, it was a liquid acrylic, but it's just, it's too pretty of a color. So I was like, well, we have to go ahead and mix this down. But we, you know, we kind of mix our own colors and our own paints when we feel like it. So, but yeah, this one is really pretty. It's going to dry really nicely because of the metallic purple. So it's going to dry with a little bit of a foil effect on the purple and on the green. The green is a metallic. So is the black and white. So super beautifuls. Congratulations to Bossy. You are the winner. I hope that you love this painting. So now you get to name it and then we get to accessorize it if you would like, because it's totally up to you. Um, so you can call it whatever you want because it's your painting, but we do have some suggestions for you. Um, peacock, butterfly wing, crashing waves, ocean vibes, celebration, and peacock celebration. Or of course the name of your choice. But we do like to give you some good suggestions. So that way you can kind of, you know, I like to give people suggestions because if you're like me, you're not really that great at naming stuff. I'm not good at naming paintings and stuff. Everybody in here is a lot better. So we kind of pull our ideas together to help everybody come up with their favorite names. Um, yes, I sign the pieces and then I also write the names of the pieces on the back because generally we always name our paintings. Sometimes people want to give them as gifts or something like that. And so we would not name those. I just love these minis. That's adorable. So we usually don't name those if people want to give them as gifts or something. But um, in general, we always name them. So we just like to give them a little personality. And so we name them and then we customize them. Um, after you purchase the painting, you get to decide if you want to add any glitter or glass or um, foil flakes. We've got all kinds of accessories and I'll be happy to show those to you as well. So, okay, and you chose the name Peacock. Perfect. I think that describes it perfectly, honestly. All right, and we also do um, have suggestions from the chat. It's really helpful. Um, because it gives you good ideas as far as what you want to do to your painting. But let me show you what your options are for accessories. We've got silver foil flakes. We have copper and gold um, foil flakes. And that's just a sprinkle on the painting. Some people will do it on a certain color or a certain section. Some people want it all over. Um, some people like it, some over here and some over here. You can always do glass over here and glitter over here, or you can mix them up. Anything you see can be mixed together or really just however you want to do it. Your, your creativity is the limit here, but I've got the blue glass pieces. I've got the pink glass pieces. I've got the clear slash silver glass pieces. I have small antique gold pieces. I have larger chunks of uh, like gold glitter or I'm mean, sorry, gold glass. And I also have powdered glitter in every single color. So it's the really fine glitter. Some people like to dust, you know, the, the painting um, with it a little bit and it just gives it a little bit of shine. And because it's the fine glitter, it doesn't look, you know, it's not chunky. But I do have the chunkier, bigger glitter too, like your standard glitter. Also bigger pieces in pretty much every color. Um, and then I have my fun glitters and my fun glitters are, let me show you. I've got these silver stars. They're really, really shiny. We've got red hearts. I've got our cosmic glitter. And this is lavender, silver, and blue and black and it's like moons and stars type situation. It's a cosmic glitter 
So it's kind of a mix of a couple different glitters. I've got this guy. This is going to be gold stars and silver moon. And these are just really tiny gold stars and silver moons. And let me see. What else about our cool glitter have we not? I mean, I also have stuff like unicorns and little bows. Um, I've got this color. This is platinum. It's just like kind of diamonds and bigger chunks. It's really, really shiny platinum glitter. Kind of chunkier. I've got lightning bolts. Everybody's favorite. I've got letters of the alphabet. It's like a silver glittery type situation. I think that's about it. But if there's anything you want, all you have to do is request it. Um, and I'll see what I have. And then I've got these in a bunch of different colors. Like here's orange and white. It's just like the bigger round pieces of glitter. So we've got glitter for days. I can tell you that. Okay, so you want powder glitter? What color are you thinking? Because we can definitely find any color that you need in my glitter stash. I have got the most glitter ever. Like, I seek glitter out until I can collect all the colors. So, any color you want, I probably have it. Powdered glitter, I've got, um, I've got Sally Blue. The really powdered glitter. I've got black. I've got white. I've got every color in between. I've got powdered glitter in pretty much every single color. Like, you name it, and I have it. And I feel pretty confident in saying that. Let's see. Red? Ooh, yeah. Red would be pretty. Where would you want to put the red? Let's see. Where are you? Let's see if I can cut, find a color of red that you like. I mean, red's pretty much just red, but I know I've got... Those pretty much look the same. Okay, that one's a little different. Okay. Okay, you want to do a little all over? I can definitely do that. So these are the two colors of red that I have. Um, you could do both or just one. Okay, so number one. So this guy, this first one. Sorry for my Shrek hands. Okay. So I will sprinkle that a little bit all over the painting, just kind of higher up. I think that would be a really lovely touch. And then you can tell me if you want anything else on it, like glass or any other colors of glitter, or you can be thinking about that. So I'm just kind of lightly dusting it. And what I normally do is I'm kind of conservative on the first pass through. We're going to do like a really kind of a light sprinkling because some people are less is more and some people are more is more. So I'll just kind of do a light dusting of it. And then after um, you're done, I will definitely um, ask you how you feel about the amount of glitter that's on here. And then we can always add more. Can't always take it off, but you can always add more. Yeah, we just did a really, really pretty uh, painting piece. There was a, there's a beautiful color scheme that we used. And sometimes they just turn out uh, really pretty. And everybody likes the colors of it. You really never know. Which is part of why this is so fun. Because you really can't predict how these paintings are going to end based on where they start. Okay, so let's take a close-up look on this guy, and you tell me if you need more glitter. You can kind of see it there. See that? So I just did a nice light dusting of it. Oh, I can definitely show you guys after this one. And it's got this really, really pretty glitter. It's really subtle. 
It's just because I'm holding it right up next to the painting. I want to make sure you can really see it. And then when you zoom out, you can't see it as much. That's why I like to really zoom in on it for you guys so that you can know what's going on in your painting. So we look at it up close and we also look at it medium and then we look at it further away. And it gives us a good idea of what's going on there. Okay, good, bossy. So um, did you want to um, add anything else to this guy? Did you want any glass or foil flakes or anything? Copper flakes? What do you guys think about the copper flakes? We need your opinion here. These are the copper. I think the copper would look pretty on it. What do you guys suggest as far as placement? I don't know. There's a little bit of uh, that cinnamon spice color right through here. And then there's some nice little sections of black. Um, there's some really pretty little sections of blue. Um, there's definitely some purple and green. So a little bit on the black spots. That sounds good to me. And I'll just make sure that it is finely shredded into little pieces so that it doesn't um, mess up the cell action. And we'll kind of put it like right here. I think this will be a really nice touch. And I love these flakes because they literally just melt onto this canvas. So here's our copper flakes. And like I said, I'm just kind of grinding. I'm kind of just grinding them up and getting it a little finely ground. That way it goes in with the painting really nicely. I like the gold, this make, or the copper, this makes it look like more peacocky in my opinion. I think this is an excellent choice on this guy. All right, so let me do a close up on it and you can tell me if you want any more or if you're you're liking the amount that we have. Cuz we got to take a close up look otherwise we just don't know. All right. Now let's see what we ended up with here. Um yes, we did, Cheryl. We used cells on all of it. Every single color. It was a celebration. Yeah, this is really pretty. And I, like I said, I tried not to get it in the lines. I tried to kind of get it inside the cells, inside of our jingle cells. And then let me just do a little zoom out. And that's what it looks like. So you let me know if you'd like me to add any more to that. Um, I can definitely add more. And I just put it on the black section that's coming through here. And we'll do a little bit further away. And that's what we did. What do you guys think? You guys think it needs anything else? We are open. The suggestion booth is open. Yeah, this is a really, really pretty one for sure. This turned out amazing. Um, this is our Nightmare Before Christmas theme, so we've always had really good luck with this one. It's always come out with beautiful, I think this is like the third or fourth time we've done this color scheme, and really each time it's been awesome. So, thank you guys for the suggestions. They really help, and it just kind of gives everybody ideas. We're an idea factory over here. Yeah, totally different each time. Oh, that's for sure. Oh, awesome, Bossy. I'm so glad that you love it. And this one is called Peacock, and I will make sure to send out your backseat painter's badge to you as well. 
Oh, did you want to add, did you want to do the same to your mini painting? Do you want me to add um, copper flakes and red glitter to this one too? So they can be twins or do you want to leave this one as is? Okay, perfect. You know, it's kind of fun when they're twins. That's what I think. And let's do a close up. You can see the glitter close up. And then we need to also add our copper flakes to make them twins. So I'll try to add it in the black spots in this guy. And we'll just put it really light and really fine on this. It's so fun when they match. These little guys are so cute. This is like our new favorite thing. And then here's this little guy. Isn't that adorable? And look at all the glorious cells on it. So pretty. I just love this, love this, love this. So congratulations, bossy. You got the painting and you also got the little cutie that goes with it. Um, definitely, Sandy. I will start collecting them. And as soon as I get a batch of them together, I will let you guys know. Um, and then we may just do a show of minis. We can start them out a little bit cheaper. And then that way, if you guys want to make bundles of it, we can do that too. We can just do a mini show. That might be fun. be really cool because then we could kind of paint them and you guys could pick the colors of them i know the minis are adorable well you know what let me or let me get uh some more minis in and we'll do a mini show and we'll just do like a whole bunch of them one night and um we'll start them off at like i don't know three dollars or something oh yeah let me grab the other piece This is really beautiful. And um, the accessories on this guy are really beautiful too. Isn't that amazing? This was our joy theme. And you can really see, and then there's stars and cosmic glitter in it. It was called Aurora Borealis. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? That was a lot of fun to do for sure. It's just beautiful. And then I know you guys want to see the mini. Because <laughs> the minis are so cute. Here's the mini of it. Isn't that amazing? It almost looks like a cityscape. You know, like you're looking at a city. City view. They are just so adorable. But yeah, that one came out amazing. It's a really, really good color scheme, that's for sure. Um, yeah, we can definitely do those colors again. I definitely want to.
All right, and then these are the little guys I have for the magnets. So I know I said I was going to show you guys these. So here's four of them. You can see the tiny little canvases. So those are four of the magnets. Yeah, this is what this is these are the mini magnets right now I'm showing you. Here's four of them. They turned out really really cute. And then let me grab the other four. And then here's two more. These are really, really cute. They're all different. They're all really different, which I think is awesome. Not, like, none of them look alike. They're all very unique. Look at that. So those are the little minis, and then let's see. Um, yes, we are about to do painting number five, and then we're gonna auction that guy off. No, your minis were done yesterday. So we got all eight of those together. So now I'm trying to um, collect some more and see if we can get another eight together, hopefully. They're really cute, honestly. They're just so fun. Okay, let me see. What else did we... We were going to do the yin and yang thing. I don't know exactly how we're doing that, but we're going to get our colors out. Oh, I love them too. I'll start collecting them for you guys. And then, like I said, we're just going to do a whole show of minis. And we'll start them a lot, um, we'll start them at like $3, so they won't be expensive, and that way you can bundle them too, and only pay one price. And we'll do something like 20 or 30 one night, because honestly, it doesn't take a lot of paint. It's not like these bigger paintings. So we'll just do a night of minis. I think that would be really cool, because they're so adorable. Yes, we need a little mini frame. We need a little mini canvas show. Um, yes, we did the black, white, gold, and silver one. Those are the first two that we did tonight. Yeah, no, they're super, super cute. That's why we totally need a little mini show. Because they're just so fun. I don't know why they're so fun, but they are. That's okay. We're going to do um, some metallics next. We're actually going to do our Father of Pearl, yin and yang. So we're going to do two paintings at once. And we're going to do the cups um, the opposite. They're going to be opposites. We're going to put the first one in, first colors first. And then the second one we'll do, I think that's what we were trying. I was trying to figure out what... Jap Celica was saying, but she said something about yin and yang. So I'm going to try to get some colors out for Father of Pearl. Because these are really pretty metallic colors that look gorgeous. And I feel like people will like them. And I feel like we could also do kind of twin paintings of these. Half and half on one canvas. Okay. Yeah, definitely, Isabel. I can do a custom order for sure. If you just send me a message. Okay, two cups um, with light colors and two cups with dark. Okay. So let's do some black in it too. Um, let's see, we're gonna do silver, copper, we're gonna do pearl white. 
We're going to do gold. I think we should do our cool new copper. Okay. I'm trying to figure out what you mean here. I'm getting, I'm a little confused. Put the light one at one end. So put the dark colors in one cup and the light colors in the other cup and then do the opposite on the other canvas. Well, I mean, really, I mean, yeah, I can do them opposite. I mean, even if you turn them, you're still going to, it just depends on how you're turning them, but I think I get what you're saying. So we'll just do natural cells on this guy. Um, and then we'll do the lighter colors in one and the darker colors in another. So we're going to have white in this one. The black is obviously a darker color. We can do our coppers. So something like that. And then we've got, to me, these are darker than these are. Yeah, we did that. Those were our first two paintings. The first two paintings, we did the same colors, and then we saw how they turned out. So that was painting number one and painting number two. That was the first thing that we tried tonight. You know what? Let me get with you in a message, Jap Celica. That way I can make sure I know what you're doing or what we're doing with that one. And I'm just going to mix this one up regularly just because I don't want to misunderstand what you're saying. And we'll do that one for the next show because I like the idea and it sounds really cool. I just want to make sure that I get it right. I would hate to do it the wrong way. And it not be what we were talking about. So we'll do that one for the next one. And if anybody missed, um, if anybody missed or misses a show, I do upload them to YouTube. My channel is EcoPost for you. And I do that because sometimes I forget the colors that I used, or sometimes if somebody's purchase doesn't go through, there's no way to know how much they bought it for. Um, unless I go back and look at it. And then there were some people that kind of wanted to see it in case they missed it. And so I put them there um, just to kind of help me. And then also because um, a couple of people were kind of wanting to see, see it when they miss it because not everybody's able to be here when I do it. So we're gonna mix the pearl white first. So we've got plenty of opportunities. And if, the, if you guys miss it, you can always check it out there. You're welcome to look there and see as well. But because um, I try to make sure that I get to everybody's requests. And honestly, like it's really good for me to be trying all these different uh, methods and color combinations. And so that's why I always write them down. And if we don't do it that show, we always do it the next show. So. Because I feel like it's important to try all these things. Okay. Oh, awesome. Yeah, definitely. So if there's anything that you had requested and for some reason you weren't able to see it, you can check it out there and then we can always do them again too. You know, that's the cool thing about it is that... Um, we can always uh, do these colors again or do these uh, methods again, whatever, whatever we want to do. So don't ever feel like you missed out because we can definitely repeat these, repeat these things. Oh, wait. Maybe I have some more copper left over here. So this is our father of pearl combination. And these are some really, well, it's father of pearl and I'm adding black to it. Normally it's just, uh, I don't use black in it, but this time we're going to use some black. So this is a different variation. So that way we're not doing the same stuff. We're mixing it up a little bit. So 
This is going to be really pretty because it's got lots of metallics in it. So there's that guy. Awesome. All right, so let's get this one poured and see what it looks like. So I'm going to grab a 12 by 12 and we're going to get some little minis too. Because of course we are. We can't not have the minis. All right, so this is going to be number five. And... There is our drip pan. Got a lot of paint on this guy today. And then check it out. We're doing natural cells on this one. Father-in-law of Pearl. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. Hey, Sash, how's it going? All right, let's see. And you know we gotta get our mini frames. And like I said, I will definitely start, we, we will definitely do a mini show. We'll just do a whole night of a mini canvas extravaganza. I like that idea. Okay, there's, this is going to be pretty for natural cells. I'm already seeing some natural cells forming in the cup. So there's our little baby mini canvases. And then, I don't know if you guys can see this, but you can see the cell, the natural cells forming here inside the cup already. Okay. One, two, or wait, gotta get it even. There we go. One, two, three. And those minis may need a little bit more paint. So I'll definitely slosh those minis a little bit. This one I think we can do, though. It does look like chocolate syrup. Totally looks like Hershey's. We may have to call this one Hershey's. It just depends on how it comes out. So here's our one of our minis. Um, yes, it's very hard to get the paint off my hands. I mean, I can, if I have to go somewhere, I can definitely scrub it off. It's just because it's winter time. I don't like to scrub my hands like super hard because I get really dry skin. Look at that. It's really, really pretty. So there's that mini guy. So we'll put him over there. And then I think we're going to need some more paint on the other two to finish them. But let's do a close-up on this guy. Look at those gorgeous natural cells. Yes, these are artist hands. I always feel weird when I go to the post office or anywhere, though. It's like... Um, I've just been doing some painting... All right. Okay. I love it. Okay. This is kind of like, if anybody remembers our bougie, uh, bougie kitchen theme, this would go in our bougie kitchen. It really does.
I love this. This is gorgeous. This is kind of those neutral colors that can go anywhere. You can definitely see the both of the coppers. All of the colors came through on this one, really. Which, as we know from experience, it doesn't always happen like that. Okay, we're going to let that one settle. The cells develop in that, and then we're going to slosh around our mini paintings. Look at that. I love this little guy. All right, and then let's take a look. Okay, we got that one. And then we have to vote on the one that matches the painting the best. And I have a feeling it might be this one, but I don't know. We'll see. Oh my gosh, me too, Isabel. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with the minis. That is totally how I feel too. All right. So there's that guy. That's really, really, really cute. I think this one is probably the closest, but we'll take a look and we'll figure out which one we think. For sure it looks like it. And of course the cells are developing and the painting is still kind of finding itself, if you will. All right, so let's do a close-up. I love this. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is a very um, good color scheme. So let's take a look at this guy close-up. You can see this part. It looks a lot like foil. We've got a lot of uh, natural cell action going on. Oh, that's a good one. Charred marshmallow. Let me write that down. Oh my God, have yourself a mini little Christmas. Oh my gosh. That is my new song. That is my new jam. Now we got jingle cells and we've got have yourself a mini little Christmas. So we got all the good songs. Check this out. This has got lovely, lovely metallics in it. That almost looks like eyeballs. Like something's looking at me. Do you guys see it? I don't know what kind of animal that is, but something is staring at us. Something is staring at us for sure. I just love this part. These natural cells are absolutely gorge. And then you can see there's a bunch of tiny ones developing here, but it's also got that really nice marbling effect too. And then look at the cell action on the bottom. All right, so now we got to figure out which mini uh, looks the most like it. All right, so that's what the painting looks like. All right, and then let's see. We've got mini number one. We've got mini number two. And we've got mini number three. Yep, see, that's what I thought, too. Yep, we're all on the same page on that one. Because the other ones don't really have uh, as much uh, black in them, for sure. Oh, please. Four, give me a break. I'm just glad you're watching this from another room and you're not in here right now. All right. <laughs> so these are the ones that I'm going to put with our magnets and everything. So I'm going to go let these guys dry. These are really, really cute. And then we'll take a look at this other guy and auction it off with the mini. Okay, let's take a look. 
Well, let's take another look. I just love that top part. Like I said, it looks like foil. It looks like really, really pretty, delicate foil. And most of these are metallic colors, so this is going to dry with a really nice metallic sheen to it. And you can see how much gold is in it, so that's all going to dry with a metallic color to it. And then it just looks like, I don't know, it looks really, really pretty. Nice marbling. Oh, okay, and then there's this little guy. So you've got your little mini there. All right, now what was the name that was suggested earlier? Because I didn't write it down. I need to. You know what? That's a good idea. I should definitely do that next time we need you to get in the trunk. Charred marshmallow. Yeah, I definitely see that. Um, I would call this Hershey Galaxy. Metallic Cocoa. I don't know. I got some good names on this one. Um, Fluffer, Fluffer Mutter, Fluffer Mutter, Fluffer Nutter. Fluffer nutter. Okay. <laughs> I had to get really close to the screen to read that with my blind self. Animal Kingdom. Special Blast. I love it. Hmm. Copper Horizon. Okay, we got some good names on this guy. I do have to say, I do have to say, I suggested some good ones, which I normally do not. Normally you guys have better suggestions, but I feel like I kind of did good on that. Um, okay, so let's take a look. Because I feel like those are good names. I feel like it really describes it. Yeah, they really have been really pretty tonight. That's definitely for sure. Got some gorgeous, gorgeous paintings this evening. Some, but, you know, we did some really good color combinations, which come from you guys, so. You guys have to take the credit for that one. So we're going to start this guy out at $5, and then we're going to also, um, you also get the mini with this guy, too. So this is going to be a lovely 12 by 12 plain, painting. This has some really nice colors that could kind of match anybody's theme. You've got all the metallics, you've got two coppers, um, and then you also get the little mini guy as well. So this would be a fun one to decorate, I feel like, in my mind. I think this would be a really good one to put, I don't know, something on. But I think it'd also look really nice by itself. But we also have some really good name suggestions for this guy. Charred Marshmallows, Hershey Galaxy, Metallic Cocoa, Fluffernutter, Animal Kingdom, Special Blast, and Copper Horizon. So we come with suggestions. Congratulations, Marsha. Congratulations. We are still here, Bex. We're all up in, still all up in here. We're, well, we're almost done, but we're on painting number five. So congratulations to Marsha. Oh, that's a good suggestion. Drogo's leftovers. What do you guys think for the name? We've got Charred Marshmallow, Hershey Galaxy, Metallic Cocoa, Fluffernutter, Animal Kingdom, Special Blast, Copper Horizon, and Drogo's Leftovers. Oh, man. I know how that feels, Taj. It's like, ugh. Once you catch up, though, you'll feel like a brand new woman. Copper's Horizon. 
I like that too. We'll do Copper Horizon. I like it. I think it's a good one. The copper is really pretty in this. And to me, it looks like a horizon. If you see like this line right here, it looks like a horizon. At least that's how I feel. Yeah, this is a pretty one, Bex. They, these are some good colors, though. I just love it, love it when we use our metallics. We love a good metallic. And so now we have to decide how we're going to decorate it, guys. That's the, that's the part. This is where we got to get into it. Or you can leave it as is, of course. It is definitely your choice. But we can add... Oh, I see the head now. I see it. That's cool. I like it when we all see the same things. Yep, copper flakes for sure. Okay, where are you thinking on the copper flakes? Um, where are they? Here they are. I think so too. These are really pretty. I'm shredding up our copper flakes. I'm preparing them for everything. Um, powdered glitter and glass. Awesome. Where are you thinking? I, I mean, do you want them all on the same, like mixed together, or do you want them in different places? Because we can do it either way you want. Sometimes they look good mixed together, but then maybe sometimes you want the flakes over here in the glass. There. It's just all about what you like. And then we can definitely keep picking out our powdered uh, glitter colors and our glass colors as well. So I've got these guys all shredded up. Ready to go. You just need to tell me. Oh, and we do you want us to do the same thing to the baby painting as the other painting? Okay. Okay, so you want it on the upper left corner. Okay, definitely. So kind of in between the copper cells here. Can definitely, definitely do that. Perfecto. I just love these flakes. OMG. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Copper was a really good choice for this, I think. Definitely. I'm just kind of shredding it up. All right, now let's do a close-up on this guy, and you tell me if you're good on the copper flakes or if you want more, and then we'll go to the next item. Definitely, Isabel. I could switch out one of the minis I have for one of these for sure. And let me put it on the darker part of this. Okay, let me see. Let me grab one of these guys. Where are you? All right, so I'll add copper flakes to this other mini. I can definitely add that to your set. Oh, 
All right. Perfect. We love that copper. That copper is beautiful. All right. And then we need to do... Yeah, copper is really pretty. The flakes are gorgeous. I love them. I love them. It really gives it something different than just the gold, you know? And then let's see. We're going to need glass and glitter, right? Going to figure out which colors we want of the glitter and of the glass. So I do have, of course, the silver clear glass. And then if you want to stick kind of with the gold theme, I have the smaller pieces of gold glass and then the larger pieces. So those are definitely options as well. Okay, the smaller pieces, do you want them in the same area as the copper or do you want them like in the gold or all over or the white? I guess there's a section of white up there too. Could really, really do it anywhere. And these little pieces are really pretty. It's kind of an antique gold color. And they're just kind of finely ground glass. Okay, so the upper right. So kind of the um, white section. I think that would be really, really pretty. And then we're going to do a close-up. And you tell me if you like the amount of flakes and the amount of glass, and then we'll move on to the next item, which will be, I guess, glitter. We love accessorizing our paintings, I gotta say. Let's take a close-up look on this guy. Because I don't want to add more than you want me to add. So you can kind of see the little flex there of the glass. in the upper right. So there's the little pieces. And these are smaller, so I'm zooming in so that you can see them better. And then let's take a look at the copper flakes. Because I don't know if you told me how you feel about these guys. You got to do a close-up, though, so you can see them. You can see I tried to stay in between the copper cells. But I really think the copper flakes were an excellent choice. Yeah, the copper flakes are so pretty. So there's those, and then it kind of goes into the gold here. Okay, perfect, Marsha. Now, what color uh, glitter would you like? Are you still wanting to add some glitter? You know we got all the colors of glitter. We got um, like the white powdery glitter. We have the black um, powdery glitter. We have gold. We've got copper. We've got every kind of glitter you can imagine. Any color your little heart desires, I've got it somewhere. Hmm. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think copper might be nice. I also think black glitter might be nice. Um, like over, I don't know. All right. We'll get some good suggestions from the chat and then we'll pick from there. See, like, I don't know. I was thinking like a co either a copper or maybe like a black. I don't know. Oh my gosh, decisions, decisions. It could honestly go either way, in my opinion. But yeah, I've got this black, finely powdered glitter. I've got, let me show you the copper. And then you guys can kind of tell me what you're thinking. I've got this copper color. Um, 
I do have the white glitter. I've got um, silver and black. I think that would be nice. We can definitely do a nice color combo. And where would you like those colors um, distributed? We can do a little bit all over the painting, um, just kind of like a nice uh, sprinkling all over. We could definitely do it up here. We could do it in here. We could do it in here. All over. Oh yeah, I think that would look great. Let me get our colors together here. So let's see, we need black and silver. I just love that idea. I like it when we get to mix the glitters together. That's my favorite part. Find my silver. I've got the black glitter. There you are. All right. And then would you also like that done on your little guy too? Oh, I need to put some gold glass on the little guy. Hold on. And basically for the little guy, I'm just trying to copy what you did with your painting with your bigger one. So I'm just trying to make them as much like twins as I can. All right. So we added the gold glass pieces to that one. Okay, good. Then we'll add it to this guy. There's our silver and our black. I think this would be absolutely lovely. And then we'll mix them together and make our, we're making our own glitter right now. That's really lovely. That's perfect actually. All right. And we'll do just kind of like, and you know, I like to hold it up. You guys know the drill. I like to hold it up pretty high above. Just kind of make it snow or rain or whatever you want to call it all over the painting because I really want it to be evenly distributed. We don't want like just a little pile over here and a pile over there. It needs to be even. Okay, this is amazing. This is so freaking glittery. Hopefully you guys can see it. We're going to do a close up and you should be able to see it. And then you can let me know if you want me to dust it again. All right, let's take a close up look on this guy. And you can see the finely powdered glitter there. I think we got it pretty evenly distributed and it's really close up. And so you can definitely see it when we go this close up, but when we take it out a little further, um, it just looks more metallic. That's why we have to look at it from every point of view. Yeah, I love it. This was a really great touch on this. So check that out. I really like it. I think you did a great job on this one. Do you think it needs anything else? Do you want another dusting of glitter or oh and let me make sure i dust the other guy real quick while you're deciding on that because we got to make sure what we do to one we do to the other because these are supposed to be matching as much as possible mini canvas time We love it. Okay, awesome, Marcia. I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, this is poor painting art. And what we do is we paint the paintings and then we auction them off. And then whoever wins the auction gets to decorate the paintings. 
And we just did some really pretty um, glass pieces, some foil flakes, and some glitter on this guy. So that's what the mini looks like. This turned out really beautiful. I love it, I love it, I love it. You did good on that one, Marsha. I like to say, you did that. But yeah, look at this pretty, pretty section here. You can really see the glitter in the top and it almost looks like foil. And then you can see it throughout here. You can also see the copper foil flakes that you added, which I think are just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. So this is Copper Horizon. So that's the name that was chosen for this guy. So there is Copper Horizon. love it. And these minis are so fun. I love how all of the minis get a twin. Oh, thanks, Katie. Katie Brooke. Yeah, we're doing some Christmas music tonight. We usually do Christmas music. We're just kind of chilling. So this is our drip pan painting, our drip pan of all the paintings that we've done tonight. And we will auction this off at the very end. Um, as the last painting and you guys can see it's looking really interesting tonight so I yeah it's definitely going to be awesome tonight I think oh yeah we only have like three left so I can either use them on the next painting or on the drip pan painting because I need to order another box of the little guys I know I can't run out. I didn't know I was going to like them this much. And I didn't know you guys were going to like them as much. Like, they just turned out really cool. So, hmm. We need another uh, color theme for the other one. Did you guys want to make up something new? Or did you guys want to do Joy again? Or that one color combo? Um... I don't know, we could do some pinks. We could do some Roy G. Biv. I don't know. I know, I went right through them because they're so dang cute. Like, all I want to do is make minis now. So I'm going to order a couple boxes of the minis and we're going to do a mini night. Purple? All right, let's do some purples. Let's do some purples. We need some ideas. Let me get all my purples out. Where are you? Okay. All right, we'll get some new purples. We'll start with the purples and then we will go from there. Um, we'll vote on the color. Well, what, other do what else do you guys wanna do with purple? Of course you won't, Bex. You know you Bex loves purple. Taj, it's a big fan. Everyone's a big fan of it. Okay, so magentas, blacks. Okay, I'm gonna get them out. We can vote on them. I'm just we just gotta get an idea here. We're an idea factory, so we have to form an idea. So I'm gonna pull out all the colors you guys say, and then we'll uh, narrow it down, or maybe we'll do all the colors. You just never know on here. All right, let me zoom us out so we can look at our colors again. Um, what else are you guys thinking? We've got black, we've got silver, we've got all of our purples, we've got our burgundy. Yep, we've got black, silver, and then we got all our purples. Or you guys just want to leave it at that. Taj, <laughs> Taj, you love that color. 
you and Nova, it is really cool. It always makes a painting like pop. You guys just want to do these colors and do all of them? You want to do cells? You guys want a hint of yellow? Let me see what we've got for yellow. My paints are stuck together. All right. So our choices for yellow. We've got chartreuse. We've got deep yellow. We've got bright yellow. And we've got gold. Because gold's a yellow, right? So we've got those as our choices. So chartreuse. Deep yellow. Bright yellow. and old gold. Okay. You guys want a pink in it as well? Exactly. We like to throw it all in there. All right. You guys want a pink? Let's do some pinks. Let's just grab all of our pinks. Okay. We'll just put everything in this one. This is all going in it. Everything but the kitchen sink. That's a good name for a painting. Okay. Do you guys want to do cells on these? Do you want to do a celebration? Um, no, but we can make a metallic dark pink. We can definitely mix it up. We can make one for sure. I don't know. I would say probably this is like a dark pink. So I can make this into a metallic pink. I've got this. This is our iridescent medium. You can add it to any color to give it like a pearl metallic-y finish. So we'll add it to that color and we'll make our own. So let me go ahead and mix that guy real quick. Because I would say this is probably my darkest pink. Okay. And then we're going to need the pearl mixture. All right. Do we want cells? Okay. We're figuring out our cells. Yes, exactly. My husband still does that with the IC machines at the gas station. He'll like mix every cup, like flavor of IC in one cup. It's pretty gross. Celebration. We could do a celebration. We could definitely do a celebration. Cells in the silver. All right, what other color do we want the cells in? Oh, cells. So cells is when we put uh, silicone drops or cell medium into the painting. We add it to the color. We stir it in to the colors of paint. And then it comes out looking like a cell, which I'll have to show you to explain it. I feel like looking at it is really the best way to see it. So these guys are cells. Like all the little circles and things like that. They, they form little cells. And so they're really fun. It's just a different way to, to do the painting. You can do it with or without cells. If you do it without adding this stuff, it usually makes kind of natural cells. There's just a difference in the way it looks. Yes, it's definitely kind of water repellent. Um, it'll kind of like, I don't know, some of the some of the colors on the bottom will kind of come to the top. 
They're hard to explain. You have to see them. You have to experience the cells. So we've got this guy. This is our silver. And did we want cells in any other color? In the black, okay. Be one with the cells. Exactly. We are definitely going to connect with the cells today. All right. So we got our, got them in the black and then let's do it in the purple. So I'm just going to randomly grab this purple. This is a light violet. Ooh, crud. It's like the second time I've done that. And that's why we have plastic everywhere. All right. And then let me grab another one of the purples kind of random -y. This looks like purple people eater purple. Um, and then I grab lavender. You're not having a good time unless you're making a mess. That's my opinion. All right. So we're going to do cells in these guys. Well, not this one. This one, we just made it metallic. These are the ones you guys pick for cells. So I'm putting three drops of my silicone oil into the black and the light purple. And then we're going to use our cell medium in the silver and the lavender. And then we're going to mix, see what happens. This is an experiment here. We do a lot of experiments, you know. Some of them turn out really, really well. Most of them turn out pretty good. Some of them turn out really, really well. And then some of them, they don't turn out so well. All right, so now we got all of that mixed into our paint. We are going to start pouring. Yeah, sometimes there's a situation. There's a lot of situations in here, unfortunately. <laughs> the girl from Charlie. Veruca Salt. Are you talking about Veruca Salt? I love Veruca Salt. She's so funny. Don't care how I want to know. Okay, I have to ask you guys this. Which Willy Wonka do you guys like? Do you guys like the old Willy Wonka or the Johnny Depp Willy Wonka? Which one is your favorite? We have to know. I love the old one too. The old one's my favorite. Definitely my favorite. There's our burgundy. Now we're gonna add our beautiful metallic purple. Look at that, that's gorgeous. Yeah, the old one is my favorite. It looks like everybody kind of feels that way. There's our light purple. All right, we're running out of room here. There's our rose gold. Let's make it work time, like they would say on Project Runway. There's our fuchsia, that's our Barbie pink. And you can see the cup is looking kind of crazy. There's our silver. Our neon pink. Oh yeah, that part is weird, Bex. I'm like, what is going on there? Whose idea was that to put that part in there? Our deep yellow. Our metallic pink. Okay, we're running out of room here. <laughs> There's our baby pink. This cup looks cool. I'm not going to lie. This is looking amazing. Okay. And then this is going to be our bright violet. And then we've got our violet.
Look at that cup of cool. I know, I'm like, who? that's a weird kind of scene, you know? It's like, I don't know. It doesn't, it does and it doesn't match with the movie. Like, I don't know. I feel like Willy Wonka is like more of a dark character. I don't know. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like Johnny Depp probably played a better, darker character of him, but I don't know. That part was pretty dark, too, in my opinion. All right, so I'm getting a 12 by 12 canvas, and then we are going to do some minis on this guy. And these are my last three minis, but I will definitely be getting some more because I know how much you guys like the minis. And how much I like the minis. Because we're definitely going to be doing a mini show. I think that would be really fun. Alright, so let's take a look at our cup here. One more time. That's just beautiful. Yeah, I used to love his books. When I was uh, younger, I read all his books. Alright. Now let's get our minis. They're so cute. And right now, um, currently we're doing these paintings. If you win this auction, you get this painting, and then you also get one of the little mini paintings too. I don't, we just started doing that for fun. Because we like the minis. Yeah, some of these, yeah, some of his books were crazy. Matilda, that was a really good book. Um, basically, we auction off the painting after we're done. And then if you win the auction, you get to decide if you want to add anything to the painting. Um, I've got pieces of glass and a couple different colors. Um, I've got powdered glitter in pretty much every color. We always um, usually start our paintings off at $5, except for the bigger uh, paintings. Those are 7 like, this is going to be the last painting we do, and it's the drip pan. And we start this guy off at 7, and it's usually a nice piece of abstract art. Um, and so that's what this guy looks like. And so we'll auction this guy off after we're done kind of swishing it around. And then we've got our minis as well. All right, so first we're going to take a close-up look of this guy before we switch it around. Looks pretty cool so far. So I want to try to keep all the colors in it that we possibly can. And I'm also trying to get the minis too. Okay, this is awesome. Whoa, this turned out great, guys. Look at these colors. This is wild. That's the cool part about it. You never know how they're going to turn out. This is amazing. Look at this color combo. Okay, this reminds me of Lisa Frank. Which some of them, you know, a lot of them do. But this color scheme is definitely very Lisa Frank to me. The yellow is still actually in here a lot. Um, I'll do a close-up on it so you guys can see it. But there's still actually a lot of yellow in it. Yeah, this color's gorgeous. That's beautiful. So we're going to let that kind of settle down. We're going to do the minis, and then we'll take a close-up look on that guy. So here is one of our minis.
It almost looks like a butterfly wing or something. That's really, really pretty. You guys did that. That was a good color scheme. I know, that's so cute, Bex. It looks almost like a butterfly wing. To me. All right, so there's that one. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. Why are these little ones so cute? It's adorable. And I do custom pieces as well. So if um, there's a certain size canvas frame that you want or certain colors, you can also contact me and um, we can figure something out too. Take a look at this one. Those are awesome. And then you guys are going to have to help me pick out which one is the twin to it because we're going to auction um, off the mini and you get the mini, one mini, and then you get the 12 by 12 together. Yep, Jim and the Holograms. This is definitely Jim vibes to me, too. I feel the same way. It's this color scheme, really. Look how cool that looks. These minis are adorable. All right, let me rinse off my hands. We'll do a close-up on it, and then we'll figure out which mini is going to go with this paint. We will go from there. All right. So let's take a close up look on this guy. And scroll back down. All right. Let's get ourselves in focus here. That would probably help. There we go. Okay. Let's do a close up on it. I love this. This came out awesome, guys. Look at this. This is wild. Look how pretty it is. And you've got a lot of cells on it. Look at that. And then look at this. That's a cellception. You've got a cell within a cell. So you've got all these lovely cells. And then you actually, to me, this looks like kind of some natural cell action. So. Look at that. That is wild. I saw a flower in that too. To me, that looks kind of like a flower. All right, so you guys got to tell me which uh, mini we need to do. So there, that's a close-up of the painting, or that's kind of a look of the painting. All right. So do we want to... So which one is its twin? We've got number one. We've got number two. We've got number three. And let's look at it again. There's our painting. Okay. So one, two, and three. And people are thinking three looks a lot like it. 
All right. I tend to agree. One and two are both really close, honestly. They're really close. But I'm going to go ahead and put these two away and let them dry. We're going to use these for other projects. And then we will proceed forward. So I'm trying to get all these little minis together. All right. So this is what we ended up with, guys. We got to think of names now. Pink Sunset, that's a really good one. I really love that pop in the middle, that deep yellow. It ended up looking really, really cool. And then you can also see it like in this like flower type thing. We named a painting Truly Outrageous. It was a good name. Um, all right, Pink Panther. Let me make sure I get all these really good names down. Flower Petal Burst. And then let me scroll up and make sure I didn't miss anything. Jim. Lavender Sunset. Okay, I'm just making sure I got all the good names. Okay, I think I'm caught up now. Okay, Chaturanga. I'm probably totally butchering that. I like the way it, uh, I like the word though. Shanti, Shanti means peace, that's nice. Pretty. I like it. I think this was a great color combination. To me, this looks Lisa Frank like, but I always try to make every painting into Lisa Frank. I don't know why. Try to get us centered here. That would be really helpful. All right. So we're going to auction this guy off. Um, so this is a 12 by 12 painting. And then it also comes with the mini. So you get the big painting and you get the cute little guy too. And this was definitely a really good color scheme. I'm glad that we added the yellow and the black. I feel like those really made the other colors pop. That's my opinion. So this is painting number six. And so we're going to go ahead and start this guy off. Um, definitely kind of looking like animal print 80s theme. Totally looking like Jim, totally outrageous. There could be a lot of themes in this one, but it's got some gorgeous colors to it. And the mini is gorgeous as well. So we are loving the little mini because you get the mini and then you get the 12 by 12. So this one is really pretty. I'm kind of interested to see if whoever wins wants to accessorize this with glitter or glass or I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of different directions we could go with this guy. That's for sure. Um, this is a good color scheme. I think we should definitely put a star by this one. This one turned out absolutely, to me, I see animal like print 80s. That's really just what I see. And congratulations to Paisley. You are the father. <laughs> you are the winner. So now you get to name the painting. And let me reread the names for you because we want to make sure that you get the best idea ever. Okay, let me center us. There we go. You got to see the painting to be inspired to pick the name. 
but you can name it whatever you want. You don't feel like you need to take our suggestions, but we just love to give them. So we have Pink Panther, Flower Petal Burst, Gem, Lavender Sunset, Chaturanga, and Shanti. Yeah, that is awesome. We really did good on that one. Yes, I can show you guys the painting again. It's really, really gorgeous. Probably one of the best ones we've ever done on here. That is definitely for sure. Pink Panther it is. I love that. Pink Panther is pretty dang perfect, actually, considering the colors that are in it. And like I said, this has got a real uh, animal print feel to it. For sure. All right, guys. Paisley needs some suggestions. Everybody put some suggestions in the chat. She wants some pink glitter on the pink, potentially. What do you guys think? And we also have pink glass. And so let me show you that, too, in case you wanted to add some pink glass to this guy. And let me get the um, Aurora Borealis painting real quick while everybody's... Give you some suggestions. Yeah, these, these colors are just winning. Like I said, this has got to be some of the prettiest colors we've ever used. This was an amazing color scheme. You've really got to love that uh, blue and that pink together. They're just beautiful. And then the star glitter and the cosmic glitter just gave it a beautiful pop. So this one is absolutely gorgeous. Honestly, all the ones we've done tonight have turned out really, really pretty. Probably because we have great ideas, great taste. You know, we always have the best taste. Yeah, they're, we've come up with some really, really pretty things, that's for sure. They're just all a little bit different, but they're all gorgeous. And we've been putting stars by the color combinations. We always write down the color combinations that we like, um, and so that way we can recreate them. I write them on post-its, and then I stick them in my notebook, and we can definitely have the winning colors. So... All right, so now we've got to figure out how we're doing this glass. What are you guys thinking? What did we come up with for suggestions? Um, the pink glass is really pretty. The pink glass might be nice or just glitter. It just depends on whether you um, want the dimension and the texture of the glass, you know? It really just depends. Um, but yeah, we can definitely do the pink glass. That's totally up to you. And then we've also got every single color of glitter ever, um, like the fine powdered glitter. We've also got really fun glitter. Um, let's see. We've got stars. We've got moons. We've got all kinds of really cool stuff. Okay, you want to do the pink glitter on the pink and the purple glitter on the purple? That sounds great to me. So let me find the colors that we need for this. Because I may need to ask you which color of glitter that you want. All right, so for the purple glitter, I've got two colors in that. So you tell me which one you like better. I've got one and I've got two. So this guy, the lighter one. Perfect. Let me sprinkle some of this guy on the purple. The glitter is so pretty. It's a nice subtle touch. And 
it gives it a really, really nice look. So I'm just kind of adding a touch wherever I see the purple, which is mostly kind of over here. And then I'm going to need to show you the pink because we're going to have a choice on that too. So this is kind of like a baby pink or like a lighter pink. And then this one is more like kind of a bright pink. So I've got one and I've got two. Two, okay. And we'll add the pink on the pink. Okay, so there's our pink. And I'm just kind of lightly dust it right here where we've got that nice concentration of pink in the painting. Whenever I do this, I feel like that one salt guy meme. Have you guys seen that one meme of the guy, like the salty guy? He's like sprinkling salt on something or whatever. That's how I feel when I do that. <laughs> we got some on the pink over there. Let's do a close up. Okay, so let's take a close up look on this guy and see how we did. So this is where we put the purple glitter. If you can see it up close, you can definitely see it. And then when you go a little bit further away, it mostly just looks like a glittery paint. So it's a really nice effect, but we like to zoom in and make sure that that's enough glitter for you. You can let me know if you'd like to add any more. And then there's the other purple area. So it's just gorgeous. And then let's take a look at our pink. You can definitely see it where it's catching the light. Yeah, the glitter looks really great um, on the painting. I love the way it looks. <laughs> it kind of gives it it looks like it's made, I don't know, it almost makes the paint look metallic or the paint look, especially because it's so fine and powdered. But we can definitely add more if you want. Just let me know what you think about that. Oh, and um, okay, that's totally fine. It's completely up to you. And then what are you thinking about your mini? Do you want your mini to match? Because we can put some purple on the purple and some pink on the pink on the mini. Okay, so do you want the glitter and the glass or maybe just the glass? Okay, just glass. And did you want pink glass? Did you want the silver glass, the gold glass, or the blue glass? Perfect. I think the pink would be lovely on it. So I'm kind of just going to add some along the bottom um, where the black is. And then we're going to add a little bit on the top for the balance. And then we'll take a close-up look on this guy. What do you guys think about that? That's fun. Isn't that pretty? I just love these little minis. Awesome, Paisley. I'm glad you like it. You got a good one. And I think you picked the perfect accessories. I'm going to put these guys over here to dry. And then we're going to do our drip pan painting, which is our last painting of the evening. And that's going to be this uh, area, this uh, thing under here, our canvas. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Look at that. Those cells are just beautiful. Those are good colors too. And that deep yellow blended with it just perfectly. Okay. 
All right, now let's see what happens with our drip pan painting here. Let's get the tray off. Let's get this last guy here. All right, so this is going to be 18 by 24, and you can see the canvas so far. We've poured all of our paintings on it this evening, so now we're just gonna kind of move the paint around and make it into its own painting. Let me go back a little bit. So hopefully you guys can see what's going on here. So these paintings are about twice the size of the paintings that we normally do. And I am recycling a nice canvas here. Oh, there's nice, some nice glitter. This one's awesome. There's a lot of purple in this guy. Um, there's also a lot of, I don't know, I guess that's silver. But we'll take a close-up look at it for sure for you guys. And I'm sorry the angle gets a little wonky. It's a little harder to do these uh, bigger frames and keep you guys in focus, but. And these are just nice. Um, this is just a nice like conversation art piece for your house. Um, some nice abstract art. So you can make people think that you know a lot about art. Of course, there are people in here like Bex that do actually know a lot about art, but I just feel like the abstract paintings are just kind of artsy fartsy and um, I don't know. They're just fun. And it's always fun to see what we see in these. People will see faces in them a lot. People will see um, all kinds of different things. Ghosts. We usually see a lot of uh, faces in these. Come on, corner, you can do it. So I'm just making sure that we really get our canvas covered with paint. All right. Uh, Bex, I've got a kitchen makeshift studio, so don't feel bad. <laughs> You've seen my club. Well, I need to show you guys my clubhouse. I'll do that on my next one. We're going to have um, another chat and craft on Friday morning, if anybody's interested. I'm going to try to work on some stuff, and whoever wants to come and show us what they're working on or whatever, it might be kind of fun. It's a Friday. We're going to do it early. So that way everybody that's going to be in uh, the crafters um, show. That way I can be sure to tune into that because that'll be later that day. So I'm not going to be doing an art show on Friday. Because um, I'm going to be doing those two things. All right. If we can just get our corner here. We'll be doing great. And this one usually takes a little bit longer to cover because it's a bigger canvas and um, we got to get all this paint moved around. So I'm about to grab some stands for this guy and then we're going to take a close up look and see what's going on with it. <coughs> but this is definitely, I don't know, I'd say purple. I see a lot of blue in this too, though. I see some white. We just got this last little edge of this corner here. I definitely see some silver, some black. Lots of colors in that, guys. Let me grab my little stands. Got to put 
put it under the painting. It kind of helps it dry. All right. So I don't know if anybody has any good name suggestions for this one. I don't know. I kind of feel like this one we could call it Lavender Fields or Purple purple Rain. Oh, okay. So, Elk, um, I'm going to be doing the show in the morning at 11 a.m., I think is the time, on my YouTube channel. We're going to be streaming on there. And just anybody that wants to do art or try to um, – basically, we're trying to get the crafter community – on Poshmark uh, a little bit, I don't know, together. We want to be able to make suggestions on each other's art and um, things like that. So kind of promote each other's stuff, give each other ideas, just say, okay, I think that would sell really well, but maybe you could add this to it. You know, kind of like a, a cra supportive crafter community. I will definitely tag everybody in it for sure. Um, I just had just kind of set it up this morning, so I haven't really had a chance to tag anybody, but I think it would be awesome, but I'm going to be doing that Friday morning early and then, um, Friday evening, I'm going to be attending the, uh, crafters, uh, virtual party. So, um, basically just go to, um, let me put the, I will post it in our guild. And you can also follow me on um, IG, on Twitter, on and on YouTube um, as Eco Posh for you. I'm on all the socials, so it's really easy to get a hold of me for sure. And I'm always happy to answer questions or talk to you guys in the comments. There are a lot of people that have started doing this as a hobby, um, and I always am happy to give you guys a shopping list tell you what materials you need. I'll tell you all about the coupons to save you money. So please just send me a message if you guys ever need anything. And let me write down the names before. Violet Confusion. I like that. I'm going to write Purple Rain. Because I usually post uh, my shows on Instagram and on Twitter. And then I also restream my shows on YouTube because people miss them sometimes and they want to uh, go back and watch or sometimes like their phone rang and they didn't get to see how a painting came out. And it also helps me keep track of different things too. Yes. And that's the show I was talking about too, is the show on Friday. Um, it's going to be on Friday evening. And so I'm not doing a show on Friday. We're just going to do like the craft and chill. I'm going to do a craft and chill. Um, on YouTube um, Friday morning and then in the afternoon I'm going to be supporting the crafters show on Friday and would you please let everybody know um, what time that is well I guess everybody's in different time zones so that's I always get so confused by the time zones it's like ridiculous I'm too old to not to get confused by time zones um, winter storm Okay, and then let me, Yzma Gone Wild. I like that. Are you talking about Yzma from the Emperor's New Groove? That's got to be one of my favorites. You know what? That, that cartoon is underrated. Like, that movie is underrated. Violetta Bonita. Um, great graffiti. I'm just scrolling back to make sure I didn't miss anybody's suggestion because I was running my mouth here. 
But seriously, you guys are always feel free to contact me and I can answer any questions I can answer. Um, I think I got most of the names here. Just double checking because I don't want to forget anybody's good ideas. I think I got them all. Oh, wait. Purple Paradise. This is definitely one is heavy on the purple. Okay. I think I got everybody. Nice. Yeah, the name still shows... Your name still shows as Kay Birkeland on some of the stuff, but then when I look you up, I look you up as Regreen Creations. You know what? Jules has had a problem with that too. Jules's uh, name is like Family Jules, and then she said it was creeping people out, which I think Family Jules is a hilarious name because um, her name is Jules, and so it's Family Jules. It's so funny, and then. Um, and then when she comes in here, sometimes it'll say DC Jewels, which is like her more PC name. I think she could should have kept the family Jewels. I thought that was hilarious. But what I think is even more hilarious is that she thought it was creepy. Or someone told her it was creepy or something. I don't remember the exact story, but it was really funny. Um, Ursula and Yzma. Yes. Ursula. And then we'll do Ursula and Yzma. That's totally Yzma vibes. That is too funny. Like I said, that movie is underrated. The Emperor's New Groove, it's freaking hilarious. Totally underrated. So, okay. Just, you know, throwing that out there. I think everybody should watch that movie. It's very funny. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start this out at 7 bucks, just because this is a bigger canvas. And we actually have some really good suggestions for you guys as far as names. Um, I think we did great on the names this time. We have Violet Confusion, Purple Rain, Winter Storm, Yzma Gone Wild, Ursula, Violetta Bonita, Grape Graffiti, Purple Haze, Purple Paradise, and Ursula and Yzma. So these are pretty good. I kind of like the Yzma name. I don't know why. It just reminds me of her. Probably because I love that movie. It's a great movie. So honestly, you can't beat it. I think I know. Oh my God. I think I know who told Jules that her name is Karen. <laughs> it was Karen's fault. Oh yeah, there's some Hades too. And congratulations to Taja. You are the winner. You are the father of this painting. So now you have to name it. And you usually come up with the most awesome names. So it's not like you really need our help. But we do have some good suggestions for you. <laughs> I knew I was the father. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be watching some Maury, some Dog the Bounty Hunter. We're all about the brainless TV right now. Yeah, a lot of Disney villains. You could see Maleficent, too. Maleficent is my favorite Disney villain. And not the Angelina Jolie Maleficent. I like the cartoon Maleficent. I do like I do like the Maleficent movies. I think they're really good. But as far as like if somebody was like, okay, you have to pick your favorite Maleficent, it's gonna be the cartoon. Stormy. Ooh, that's perfect. I love it. And I think that's a pretty good name for that guy. Now we've got to figure out do we want accessories with our painting? Yep, Purple Rain was definitely suggested. Taj is naming it Stormy. This guy is 18 by 24. So, Stormy is going to be the name on this guy. And um, now we get to accessorize or not accessorize. It just depends on 
how Taj is feeling about this one. Because I don't know. We have so many choices, guys. We always have so many, so many decorative options. Clear glass, a light sprinkle all over. You got it. Um, do you want anything else on it? Let me try this. We can always see how it looks, too, and you can decide to add more. So I'm going to hold it up pretty high because I like to try to get, um, I feel like when we hold it up higher, it gives us a nice distance so that it doesn't clump up anywhere. And it gives us a nice and even finish. And we're just going to dust this guy with glass. I feel like the tooth fairy or something. I feel like some kind of like glass glitter fairy when I get to sprinkle it like this. Okay. I love it. I love it. Oh, man. Yes, Taj. You are speaking my language. We are speaking the language of lightning bolts. You know I love a good lightning bolt. This is perfect. Okay, what else do we want to do to this guy? And either light co uh, cosmic glitter, or there was another that you had. Let me look at it. We got to figure it out which one, because I've you know we've got a lot of glitter in here. I think um, let me see. I got to show it to you, and you can tell me. So here's our lightning bolts. We have our alphabet letters. We have our cosmic. And this one does have those colors in it. This might be pretty good for it. I mean, we can also do like a bunch of glitters too. This is gold stars and silver moons. Uh, that's so funny. Kylie Jenner would be proud. She named her baby Stormy. We've got our silver stars. We've got our chunky, like, platinum glitter. It was kind of iridescent. Okay. Oh, did you, are you talking about, like, these guys? These are, like, bigger circles. And I've got these in a couple different colors. Um, you know we've got the unicorns. No. Um, let me see. We can always throw a unicorn on it. We've got our alphabet. We've got our uh, patriotic stars. We've got our silver bows. I'm going to get out every single glitter that I have until we figure this out. Okay, there's the gold and silver stars, the white unicorns, there's the bigger things. I know, but I want to figure out which one it was. Um, oh, were you talking about this guy, the platinum? Hold on. These are like diamonds and like chunk. Are you talking about this guy? I knew I could figure it out. All right, so do you want this guy and the cosmic and the lightning bolts? Okay, perfect. Yeah, so these guys. You got our lightning bolts. We got our cosmic, which I think is perfect because it's got these exact colors in it. And then we'll do the platinum. All right, gotcha. And I did the clear glass. Do you feel like it needs any more clear glass before I put this away? And we go on to our glitter moment. Okay, and just a few bolts. Okay, so we won't overdo it with the bolts, lightning bolts. Okay, so we're good on the glass. Yeah, we just added the clear glass to it. It looks really, really pretty in it. And I see where you're going with this, and I like it. 
So we're going to be conservative with our lightning bolts. We're not going to overdo it. Okay. And I think that that's what you want on this guy. You only want a few. So we're, we only put a few on that. And then we're going to dust it with our cosmic glitter. But if you happen to want more lightning bolts, let me know because we'll do a close up. And if you feel like it needs more, just tell me. And we're dusting it with our cosmic glitter. Which looks just glorious. Well, this one is really pretty, honestly. This is this is cool. And the way that it's been accessorized just makes it even better. And this platinum glitter is so pretty. It's so pretty. Look at it. How like this just really shines. And the name of this one is platinum, just in case you guys ever want to use this again. I think it looks lovely in a painting. Yeah, I love this. This is coming out great, Taj. I'm just kind of dusting it across. And let's take a close-up look on this guy. Yeah, I really, really love the way that you accessorize this. It's so pretty. And you can see I didn't overdo it with the lightning bolts. At least hopefully not. But if you want more lightning bolts, you know, just to let me know. And you can see the glass pieces. This definitely has a storm vibe. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I love the combination of all the all the different elements in this. Yes, a conversation piece. Exactly. You can tell everybody there's this weird girl with Shrek hands. Or I guess I'm not a girl. I'm a weird old lady because I guess I'm 42 now. There's this weird old lady that does these paintings. She always keeps trying to put lighting bolts on everything. I don't know. They're perfect in this. This is definitely a storm effect because you got the glass, you got the glitter. There's a lot going on in this guy. That is awesome. Ugh, I feel like I'm 899. That's for sure. I'm 42 going on 899. Um, this was our last painting today, but I'll be back tomorrow at um, 6 p.m. Eastern time. So I will be here tomorrow. If anybody wants to, to join me, we'll be doing some more backseat painters action. Well, there is that, Bex. That does help. That does help a little bit. Got to make us feel a little better, but. Um, yes, we usually do take color requests. I do um, custom paintings. If you want to send me a message, if there's something in particular you want or you want a certain canvas size, I'm always happy to talk to you about it and let you know. Um, and then we also take color requests during the show. So people just kind of yell out colors and we just put them in the cup and we just end up with what we end up with. And you never know. It's always a surprise. So awesome. Well, it was a good night. I appreciate you guys coming and I always love talking to you guys. You guys make my entire day. Um, I love and appreciate you guys very much and I will see you guys on the next one. You guys get some good rest. Have a good night.